Yeah, yeah. He was fed up. He just got his homeboys and started singing. <laughs> That'd be the, was great back that'd then. That'd be the best when you know she's fed up but she's not strong enough to leave. No, oh, no, 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 Yo, how they said Bell Piff DeVoe came together in that new edition movie was the sickest shit I've ever seen. No, Joe Biden. They was at a party, chilling, everyone drunk, Bobby losing his fucking mind. No, 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 Warrior now. You three, you're a group now. Sounds about right. It's Parks. It's Parks. Bobby came in and made that happen. Um, the... Welcome to episode 319, 319 of the Joe Button Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored, or maybe not so highly favored now. What happened? What happened? Oh, what happened? man. I was, favor? I was viciously attacked over uh, my puff stance. Me too, Joe. Don't worry about it. God damn it. I want to hear Maul come in here and keep the same energy for Rich Dollars and Olivia, too. They, 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 I mean, they, just, went so, to, they just went through it that's Monday your, night. That's, that's your totally crew. comparable. Nah, that ain't my crew. Nah. This, is, this is your chance to clean it up. You know what nah, I'm saying? Let me clean. hear your stance or on the down. Down. How you feel about Liv not getting her? You know what I mean? Yeah. Getting her back. Yeah. As a Rich, Creep Squad yeah, member. Rich did live dirty. I ain't like that. I ain't going to lie. I ain't like that. I ain't know Liv was going through that. We should yeah. talk about what side of the argument do you fall on there? That's fucked up because they was friends. Yeah. That's fucked up because they was friends. But if I own this song... Yo, shout out to our Spotify <laughs> listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Shout out to Cash App just because I'm in business with y'all. Fuck it. Y'all think I'm just it's up here spewing shit because I'm in business with people? Then fuck it. Shout out to Puff Revolt. <laughs> uh, who else I'm in business with? Condoms. Got, uh, no, no. Deals uh, up. Relax. Not my bad. Deals up. Relax. Atlantic. Atlantic. Yeah. I'm not in business with <laughs> Atlantic. <laughs> Just the fuck out of here. Viacom, what up? Viacom, I mean, know what you, up? Know you out there listening, know you watching. <laughs> I you know mean, shout y'all. Disgusting. All right, come on, y'all. Shout y'all employers out. Yo, Papi. <laughs> <laughs> Good looking on that. You heard? <laughs> um. Uh, I did the intro already, right? We here. We yeah, here. Now. How's everybody doing? How y'all feeling? Good. What's good, going man. on? Good. Yeah, better week. Great. This is a better week. Yeah, feel good. Yeah, it's a better week. How was everyone's weekend? Give me the deets. Good, man. Cool. Chill. Cool watch the game. Chill. Yeah. You watched the game? Yeah, I did. Yeah, okay. we super. We super bowled. Yeah, I watched the Super Bowl. I did. One of the most entertaining Super Bowls in the last few years, I think. You have, um, you've been boycotting mm. football in the last few years. <laughs> well, from what I've seen, I think the last Super Bowl I watched was the Patriots uh, Falcons. Falcons. That was really that was entertaining. Yeah. So yeah. was the Eagles Patriots a couple years ago. That was a good game. Yeah, it was. It's the best in the last two years, definitely. I honestly only watched this because me and Joe had a bet. That's the only reason why. Oh, wait, who won? Well, I won. Let us know. Salute. Yeah. We all won. Wait, so Joe, <laughs> Joe got to do push-ups now. Right? You're one of those? Oh, yeah. the fans won? <laughs> yeah, we we all won. The fans won? The fans won. <laughs> because I picked the Niners to win, but I was rooting for the black quarterback. Mm-hmm. I was rooting for the Chiefs, even though my whole living room was, so I was trolling anytime the Niners did something good. Mm-hmm. And that made it for a great three quarters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, it was great. For, and, and San Fran for three. Hey, when Mahomes was doing all this unmahome like shit. Yeah. Oh, man, did I have a blast with my living room. He looked a little nervous there for three quarters. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on with Mahomes. I didn't think that would last very long, though. No. Nah. And it didn't. Yeah. Uh, but the Niners should have won that game. <clears throat> yeah, they should have. It was theirs to win. Yeah, yeah the Niners should have won that game. So they would have ran the football a little bit. Yeah, when Mahomes is special though. When when they were up by ten and they kept running on first down and throwing uh, play action on second down and then throwing on third down every time. Yeah, they stopped running the football. Yeah, I could imagine the running backs being angry at that. Yeah, homeboy just ran for a billion yards in the uh, NFC title title game. So. If I'm Greg Kittle, I'm snuffing. I'm snuffing Kings in the locker room. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Garoppolo got to see me outside. Take mm. taking the cleats, he, fam. But it wasn't Garoppolo's call, was it? No, he ain't really had the greatest last drive I, either. I, though. I, 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 I saw Greg Kittle's open, and, and this is not a sports podcast, but but, but it's I, a Super Bowl. I, I, saw, I saw Greg Kittle open a lot. Yeah, it's a like fan. a lot, and they George just Kittle. wouldn't. I mean, yeah, why am I saying uh, like Carrie, George Kittle? Carrie Kittles? Yeah, Carrie Kittles. <laughs> oh, that's what he's doing. Yeah, they should have got Carrie yeah. Kittles the ball. <laughs> yeah. He should have got uh, Sanders the ball in that that bomb. That would ended the game right there. Yeah, but he's not Kirk Cousins. True. Or or Carrie Kittles. That's true too. <laughs> I enjoyed the game. Congratulations to Andy Reid. Yeah, uh, I'm happy, happy you got Chiefs, one. The fan base. I'm yes. real. I'm real happy you got one, man. It, it wasn't. It wasn't until he won that I started just thinking about. You know, Andy Reid lost his kid. It's been yeah. qu- quite a journey for, for for 19 years without winning one, getting there once. So it's just been a long road for. Is that for he him. only went one time before this? Yeah, I thought the Eagles went twice. Not with him. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, and he him. seems to be a coach that a lot of players love. Like yeah. that you've ever played for Andy Reid, you, you, like I don't see players talking bad about him. So that's yeah, a good thing. Definitely. I like to see coaches like that win. Man, like, Mahomes winning the Super Bowl MVP, and uh, is he the first black quarterback to win Super Bowl MVP? Uh, Why don't we toss it to our stat section? <laughs> hey, stat all, section. Uh, hey, all you guys, guys in the kitchen. <laughs> Anyone with a phone? Google yeah. what Parks is saying. There's Wi-Fi. I believe so. In any case, it's still a, a big deal. So congratulations to him. Huh? Doug Williams. Doug Williams. Don't get my dad started with Doug Williams. <laughs> the comedian? No. Right. <laughs> the comedian. <laughs> um, who did you guys watch it with? Prem and Ian and uh, Rem and Brian and Julia and the whole squad over there. Yeah. Right. Y'all hear that? Little studio party. He watched the Super Bowl with the legendary and iconic DJ Premier. Correct. Yeah. No, that's pretty cool. He's got some nice TVs over there. Where's his rank on this list again? Park's, <laughs> Park's been number one. Wow. No, I'm, been no, number no. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm apparently. Joe shouted out Viacom. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Viacom is probably the most in- industry thing I could probably The last use. time I shot with Viacom, Parks was in that scene. Uh-huh. <laughs> Touché. Here we go. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand why. Here we I, why, go. Why am I? Y'all, y'all, y'all one A, one B. Yeah, it's y'all too. <laughs> like, me, me and Moore holding it down for the real, real battle, folks out there. That's what I was doing. I didn't even tell the guys that you guys were here, and y'all are telling me I did the intro. You did. If you guys, Maul is here. I didn't do that. No, you no, not that part. Maul is here. I have to introduce you guys because that signifies the start of the show. Okay. True. Uh, Maul okay. is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon the Don has blessed us with his presence. Uh, yeah, I'm straight, shocked. I'm straight from the Savon pull-up series. Shocked oh, that you could that, fit us in your schedule. Yeah, that's this craziness, Boy. man. Uh, Alexander the Satisfactory is over there, and Rem is here. And well, I've already heard how you guys are doing. Now, so. can we like upgrade him to like solid? Yeah, he's been Alexander holding it down. The solid. He's solid, he's man. I fuck a scream, man. He's been uh, he's been doing pretty good. Yeah, yeah. he's solid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, and he's yeah, gonna need he's gonna need our support after Savon has branched off from the need to know. Well, now he started, started his he was own the first thing. one to leave. Yo, he's branching off too much. Y'all got to keep it down on even mentioning the guard. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Keep it down. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Uh-huh. How he's positioning himself. You know what I mean? Positioning himself. <laughs> Shut up. Bring some wiggle room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's positioning yeah, himself. We got, we, yeah. got, we got to dial it back. Yeah, yeah. No, I see. We're creating some wiggle room out there. Speaking of creating wiggle room, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> or speaking of things wiggling. Mm, <laughs> it's a show. Who's ready to pod? Listen, quality control over the weekend through their second annual stripper bowl. Phenomenal Ooh. name, by the way. What, the annual stripper bowl? Stripper bowl is just a really good name for a stripper event during the Super Bowl. Um, it's way better than the puppy bowl. Yeah. Shout out. I mean, I like dogs, but. Oh, well, yeah. Me too. Is that the name of that thing? The, the dog exhibition, the I contest, so, yeah. the puppy bowl. Yeah, the strippers got a money. Some of those dogs are beautiful. Oh, of course. <laughs> um, quality control partnered with a venue. I don't know the venue because I'm not from Miami. It, looks it looked like a really dope venue. It there. looked like a dome. It looked <laughs> yeah. like a nice a dome. That's fire. Yeah, they put the visuals on the top and all that shit. It looked good. Who else is going to press the hard topics here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had fucking pictures on the ceiling. They looked yeah, great. Yeah, it was there. A, it looked like a fire venue. Um and they and they promoted the stripper bowl second year in a row they did this last year they had a few problems with strippers claiming they did not get paid. Um and this year it looked lit. You would expect all of their famous friends to be there throwing money in the sky and they, and strippers come from all over America to take part in this and I'm still trying to figure out why. I was a little offended that, that that you weren't Invited since you and Quavo dead a job beef, and Plus you and you love strippers, guy. so yeah. like I was, yeah, I was a little offended. I, I can't lie, I was offended that you were not there. Yeah, I don't love strippers like <laughs> like people say I do. I know my, I know you my, love bartenders. I know my, bad. my reputation. Says bad. Says you love that. bartenders. Yeah. You love bartenders. Sisters. Bartenders, yeah. I love cranberry, pineapple, and orange <laughs> juice blended. <laughs> and, and yeah, and st- the bartenders and strippers definitely make the best cranberry, orange, and. <laughs> Pineapple juice. I only don't understand why the stripper bowl is so big because there's been discrepancies in how the money is divvied out. And here we are again. Uh, I think the venue made the girls sign contracts that say you cannot pick money up off of the floor. Mm -hmm. I'm sure some of those heathens were picking money up off of the floor. (laughs) Um, Don't call them heathens. The details that, that are coming out in the aftermath are such as 
they had to wait like seven to eight hours for the money to be counted up. Mm. Uh, I mean, that many are, ones, though. There are pictures floating around of the strippers falling asleep while waiting. There's another video about a, a stripper fighting for the money for, for the money in her coach bag from four different security guards. Damn. Uh, there are just some disturbing videos with boys to men end of the road attached <laughs> to the audio. And I feel like I know enough strippers to where I should understand why this happens like, like this. Mm. You don't even have to know strippers to know why this happened like this. It just wasn't, it wasn't organized. Wait a minute, Moore. You the mean idea. to tell me the quality wasn't controlled? <laughs> Obviously not. Drum roll, please. Please. <laughs> oh, I got that was you. pretty good. I, I that was pretty you, good. Man. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling out. I'm pulling that out. Was good. That was good. Organize it better when it comes to the payout as far as how many dancers you're going to allow to dance. Which, you know, which, uh, which, think they P, which, up the splits? which P For says, sure. which P says, uh, he had no involvement in mall. But that's what I'm saying. He so, had no involvement. But you don't have no involvement stri- in it, but it's your, your, your brand. It's quality. Yeah. Control. You got, you so gotta have, you're going to have to have some answers. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like you may not have no control of how many dancers were allowed in the building and the venue, but. When things go wrong, you're gonna be looked at for some answers. Was this like yeah. the Dreamville sessions? They sent out like a flyer with with, with with strippers. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know the Dreamville sessions it. with strippers. But that's yeah. the that's the point. I don't know how they did it, how they hired these women, but it obviously wasn't organized. Well, and you're adding in a bunch of people that are also there just to party. And Look, not to throw more, money. More, more <laughs> organization from the strippers. <laughs> no, not Yo. from the strippers. From the people throwing up. Nah, no, I'm, I'm. The strippers showed up. I, I'll say, it. yeah, you they should, you should want night. some they did organization. Job. It, they this did is, this job. is a business transaction, and you're saying strippers we're knew. throwing over yeah, half yeah. a million dollars the darker, by ones. The deeper, darker secret is: Are we ever paying for them to shake their ass? Mm. No. What do you mean? You're not really there. It's paying the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, but then if well, they're not getting paid. I said that. Nah, edit. nah. No, that's not an edit point. You think I'm nah. going to the stripper bowl and I ain't trying trying to fuck? <laughs> no, it's I mean, a little tough though when you got to wait seven hours to get your money. Like, yeah, like I'll be asleep yeah, at the hotel by that point. They there to get paid. I mean, anything after they get paid is like okay, cool. But the women are there to get paid. Listen, and that's why I empathize with them. I empathize with them as the guy that has dated bartenders and tried to link after their shift. It sucks. Trying to oh, yeah. trying to stay it awake. Sucks. Until the count out is finished, it's not going to happen. It's the worst. I would it's never five, do 5 that. I would if you're ne- lucky. I would never do that in Miami, number one. And number two, Joe has been trying to open up dialogue for years and years now, only to be shunned by the masses. <laughs> you were shunned by the masses? Yep. Okay. No, do tell more. <laughs> well, what's up with you? Why you hate on my lingo? No, I, th- I thought it was a good way I, to put I it. I have been shunned by the masses when I tried to open dialogue about the different levels of hope. Okay. Mm. When, did, uh, when did you try to open this dialogue? We can open it When now. did the podcast start? <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's when you tried to open it? Okay. Yes. Well, come I on. Tell, tell us more. We're not I shunning you. I don't like... It's a safe space. The hold it got to go out to Miami to the stripper room? Like, well, no, it's not... You got to understand. Women knew that there's a... This is a big event. All the dancers knew there's going to be at least a million dollars thrown. Like with all of these people in the building. Split so, between how many people? And I guess that's, the, and that's and where math, math comes in. Hey, to the, to the regular people listening to this podcast, they have no idea how the stripper shit works. When you're a dancer, you got to, and the dancers should unite and fight this. Like if I'm coming to shake ass, why do I have to pay the, to, uh, the, the pay in? Mm-hmm. Well, which, that that goes back to uh, the splits, which is three fifty, and this is back to my conversation about the different level of hoe, uh, fam. I don't want the hoe that can't afford the three fifty paying. <laughs> Nor do yeah, I think the stripper bowl wants them. No, but it's not that. Starlets it's... wants it. <laughs> Starlets is probably what two fifty for the night, and that's a big issue for women. Yeah, yeah, probably two fifty for the night. I don't want. So that's a typical I don't want, buy-in. I don't want the girl that's having a hard time with the two fifty. You don't have enough customers to come and take care of this two fifty for the night. If that if that's not profitable enough for you, nah. And and that's what that those are the stories that always come from the stripper bowl. That like they, they, they look the horrible. Money. Like the the vids of the girls the girls waiting on the money. Damn, they look like the the ice. It's the Trump holding detaining kids videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What? <laughs> look at the vid. Well, yeah. what was the what was the actual issue that that was happening? They didn't get paid what they thought they deserved. Yes, they weren't paid what they thought they deserved in a timely fashion. 
All right, so so who who Come got on, the money? Ball, fight for their points. I'm fighting for their no, points. Who got the money? Just, it wasn't organized. You mean who got it? Puff. It's, Puff a, got it's it. a great idea. They just have to. They just yeah, have to organize be it better. As far as <laughs> I'm we're gonna get into that. Sick of y'all and your Puff. What Puff got to do with this? Puff took all the strippers publishing. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, now who gets the money? Because I'm, I'm sure I saw Cardi uh, get on a video and say I got it. she and threw fifty, her man threw fifty, P threw one fifty. A lot of you motherfuckers got a lot of shit to say. So let me motherfucking tell Break you. Break it down for us, Queen Queen Cardi. Let me tell you something. How how everything goes right. QC partners up with promoters. Yeah. Not partner up, QC, but like, you know. Um, oh, well. They get, prom- they, they partner up with a, with a, a event promoters you know I mean. and places that. With a spot. You know, they team up with know, someone. Whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever they man. They partner up with they, promoters they so they can throw so yeah. the deals event in place. In place. QC right? and the RZA connect. So we don't really have too much control. Yeah. Quality. Mm. We really can't control, control the quality how that's many there. Are gonna work any place, we don't know how the money is gonna get split. Niggas ain't really fucking thinking about that. Niggas just going over there to throw their fucking money. The stripper ball, we they trying we trying to make it for a tradition. I personally, I mean, offset spend. Then she gets into how much money everyone's yeah. <laughs> okay. She was suggesting that a lot of money was thrown. And none of my I'm sure. Was there. Well, no, because they know they could just get two fifty straight from you. They don't got to deal with yeah, this that's, nonsense, right? Oh wait, that's the other thing. Did y'all see? Uh, this, wait, that's funny. Did y'all see? Sometimes Adrian Brown is funny. <laughs> a lot of the times he's funny. Some, some, yeah, a lot of the times. Did, did, did y'all see what he said about the stripper bowl? No, I did not see what Adrian oh Broner said God. about the stripper oh, you're missing. How, how He wasn't are you, there? How are you living life? I'm sure he how was there. How are you living life? Let me give it. Give you some sauce. Look, man, I only got one question. Did y'all make a million or not, man? <laughs> <laughs> they, said, they said, y'all just got y'all thousand dollars just now. Y'all just left the place. Y'all got a thousand apiece. Y'all, y'all had just to play. left the place. Seven. I mean, y'all had to pay three fifty just to strip. So y'all walked home with six fifty. Man, what I'm saying is this, man. <laughs> Break it down y'all for pussy us. Pussy wasn't that valuable last night. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all should have y'all should have cashed at me ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had some money. <laughs> Look, look, look. I- that was it. I get it. It's just, you know, it's a great idea. It's just they have to, got to get more control, ironically. Got to get more control. Great idea. The venue looked dope. Uh, a lot of money was being thrown around, but to keep it, to keep it fly, you have to make sure the dancers get paid more than a thousand dollars man the just, more the older you get the more you just realize how much of a robbery strip clubs are and the whole the whole i the whole idea of it you go to the strip club uh there's a bar there you're gonna have a bunch of drinks strip club eats off the bar strip club is gonna charge all of the girls there to be there mm-hmm. then they're gonna charge you 20 percent on every grand that you get in there yeah. Then they're gonna when the when you when you take it and throw it to the girls and the girls bring it to count out, they're gonna take another ten percent from that. And I don't think many people know any of this stuff. You so, are correct. So when you see this, oh no, con- I know that's so, why I stay out of the strip club. And, and a yes. lot and a lot of times the, the and money. I hope that, this isn't strip club hate that we're dishing out right now. No, it's not hate. I'm just saying the more we're on the side of the you, creators. Yeah, we're always on the side the of the dancers need to be paid. Yeah. That's all. And and if you know about the walkthrough deal with most rappers or entertainers, they're giving you a uh, you have house money. You're just throwing the money back to the strip club. Like mm. we're gonna give you your half your fee, and the other fee is for you to throw back to us. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So when they have a contract that says, "Hey, dancers, you can't pick any money up off of the floor because we're gonna sweep all of the money up." count out at the end that's tor- that's kind of that's kind of torture you're making girls wait for you to count a million dollars quote unquote like that's nuts if you think about it and but, you- but cool y'all wait right there we're gonna use these money machines count up this money we're not i'm not i don't think that they're divvying up whatever they count no then they gotta fudge yeah there's some fudging happening for all that i just don't know that's worth it probably not and niggas just overpaying for pussy let's just be real 
Like the gram is going for thirty right now. I mean, <laughs> that means pussy should only be well, about three hundred dollars. You know, but that, but if you it's, know, if you milk the game correctly, Maul, if you're aware of this of what's happening in the strip club, and you know that. Everybody in there, uh, the guys that go in there to throw money at the two bartenders, they're busting it down. And you know what the strip club is taxing them on the money bust down. You see why chicks are trying to sell pussy on the side. And if you know that, you can get it for the cheap. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Dudes are overpaying. And I say it all the time. Like, niggas is overpaying for pussy, man. Well, I mean, pussy is, is kind of like the NASDAQ at the end of the day. It's going to go up and down. It's it's the number oh one. Jesus, th- it's the number one oh thing. It's the first thing that was ever sold. Oh my Jesus! Um, so some you know some years it's gonna go low. Some years it's gonna go high. You just gotta play the market. Yeah, but pussy should never cost more than coke. <laughs> well, they go hand in hand. Yeah, but pussy should never. <laughs> pussy is Especially more. In Miami. You you can pussy, buy coke and pussy together. But pussy like, is in more a bun- steadily, in a bundle deal. But Y'all pussy, get mad when Nikki bundles shit up. <laughs> Don't get mad when people bundle up. <laughs> Coke and pussy. <laughs> yeah, but pussy is more steadily available than Coke. I just that Nikki, Nikki looks amazing and sounds great. Yeah, she, she does look You great. guys know I'm not saying that because now there's a relationship present. Mm. There's a relationship present with who? You and Nikki? Yeah. You have a relationship? Uh, Y'all are cool. Or, or lack of one, but oh. there's something there. Oh, okay. I don't want the fans to think that my opinions are swayed because of the people that I speak to. <laughs> and I like her verse on that. New record with the video. Are you dick eating now? I am, man. But uh, have, I will ask you guys before we get on the stripper thing. Have you guys ever made it re-rain? Speaking of the strippers can't touch the money. Have you, you, have, have you ever been in your, your section and made it re-rain? We have broached this story. Yes. <laughs> oh, we have? I didn't know. All, all of us have made it re-rain. Absolutely. See, I, I know the, the price of pussy. So I'm going to always make it re-rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For those that always, don't know what re-rain always. means, it means you throw your money and you pick it back off the ground and throw it back in the air. Mm-hmm. To make it appear like you are still throwing money, you can make five hundred look like ten thousand. <laughs> the problem with it, this whole buying vagina thing, and I want to get off of this because it just doesn't sound well, right. But it's, the problem is the first the business. Yeah, it's the it's, first it's, business it's, ever. Yeah, this is not taboo. <laughs> yeah, but and that's part of my issue, and that's why I've slowed down. It's in the in, Bible in, in purchasing <laughs> vagina. <Jesus>. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is why I've slowed down. He pardoned the stripper. Why? <laughs> because the strippers back in my day, mall. God, it's still your day with them. It's not my no, no, no. It's not Uzi and them got it now. <laughs> Pump it up streams versus Uzi streams. I'm losing. Go ahead, have a blast over there. Back in the day, mall, the strippers kind of uh, they kind of played into the fact that their job was to sell fantasy to you. Mm-hmm. That's what I'll say. They played into the art of illusion Mm -hmm. so in that how they took care of themselves was a little different how they dressed was a little different how they carried themselves was a little different because we were selling illusion we weren't selling fucking y'all then the game advanced to a place where oh it's cool to fuck the customers now the uh the new york manager started putting pressure on the talent i'll say talent bartenders and strippers not the club to put asses in the seats. And that can be pressure filled when every when three times a week you're trying to get dudes in your phone to come sit down. Dudes kind of got hip to that too. So now chicks just started fucking whoever just, just just to hit a lick or to keep their bar full. And when you start just fucking whoever without caring that you're fucking whoever, know what you end up looking like? You end up looking like you're fucking whoever. Which yeah. taints the escort game. Not that I'm here to so, allegedly. <laughs> You're pod, bro. You're really bringing yeah, no, shit I'm, down. I'm, Unfortunately, I have a, a little bit of experience in this, in this field, which is why every time they announce a stripper bowl, albeit a great business idea for the business people, puffs. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great. It's the great. talent is going to get robbed. Why? Same premise in music, because the talent is unaware of just. Of just all the ways that they shave money. Yeah. Which leaves you at the end of the night like the artist responsible for uh, all the money on top of you and you getting paid after. When these strippers are getting paid after, nine hours after the gig, no, they're not handling it the same. That's all I have there. I didn't want to get into a long so, stripper seminar. Did, like, like I'm the stripper whisperer. Nah, I'm this not. This is a master class. So, so specifically in New York, does that make the strippers like the lyricists and the bartenders are now like the SoundCloud turn up rappers? Yes. Because they're getting, one is doing the real art form and doing mm. it well, 
with a real talent, and then the other one is just reaping all the benefits of the customer. Fucking out here, he did. Some of my favorite escorts then went and got back into the soccer player hustle. <laughs> That's a hustle, though. Yeah. That's a good hustle. Those I'm, 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 I'm happy about the escorts doing that. The soccer hustle is bike. Quick Emirates flight. It's the, it's the, the biggest, <laughs> biggest sport in the world. Yeah. You hustling backwards with the dude that plays on the bench for the D-League. Yeah, they got big teams, too. A lot of players. Yeah, and the dude over here in the States that you fucking is none the wiser about, homeboy. You over there with Ashleshla. <laughs> Ashleshla <laughs> got money, though. No, yeah. Ashleshla is the man. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> niggas, niggas just... Keep your ones to yourself. New York, New York, the strip, the strip club, I'm trying to take into account strip clubs in other cities. Like, I, I, When we talk about strip clubs, I never think about New York City. No, and that's why I'm trying to make it clear that the bartenders are the the pull at strip clubs in New York City. Yeah, I can't it's, believe it's not that like other cities. New York City. We're trash when it comes to strip clubs. Go to the strip club and throw money at bartenders. That is the crazy shit in the world. I I would, makes no sense. I'm telling you, if I would be the proudest girl. And no no knock on any bartenders. I love y'all. I, I respect the hustle. No, hustlers. get your money. But but it's, it's, crazy. it's nuts that I'm paying you for the drink and then... No, but I'm just saying, I, I was going to the strip club when the dancers look good and mm-hmm. they look better than the bartenders. Like yeah. That's all I'm saying. It was a great time. All I'm saying is... That I would have zero shame in being a woman, woman, have woman having a corporate job and then going to shake my ass in the nighttime. Me, Joe. That's why Joe's not a woman. <laughs> you say you would have a problem. With- I would have zero problem. Like, Joe, Joe would be moonlighting. Like the girl, like the girls with the, the cool day jobs. They may be nursing the daytime and then they, they do the nightlife thing. Like they do their best to keep it like Christopher Reeves and mm-hmm. his Superman yeah, newspaper yeah, yeah, yeah. job. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Not Joe. I'm coming straight to my day job <laughs> with the like, heels. Yeah, yeah. No, with the glitter, work, glitter work still on. Let's get the fuck out it of gets here. A, it gets a little. Oh please, Joe is definitely oh, definitely a stripper working his way oh, through college. Oh please, <laughs> Maul. Yeah, you gotta keep it separate. Yeah. yeah, you gotta keep that separate. While we're on this, do you guys want to address uh what was said about me last week? What was said about you? That I'm coming out of the closet in 2022. <laughs> uh, Joe, I, I beg for that Don't just so we can take this podcast to the next level, man. If you was gay, think about the heights that we could take this pl- <laughs> this whole entire for platform. Real. I don't know why I said that about me. <laughs> I don't, I'm waiting for it. But that's a good shot, but I just wanted to see if it goes in or not. Shot from who? Hey, yo. Rory. Like he brings up a good point, but oh, okay. why do you say I that? See. I see. Okay. What good point? Why do you think that that would bring it, bring the, the show to the next I level? see what Moore's asking. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, because oh, I, I think I think Abort. Joe coming oh. out gay would, <laughs> Abort. Abort. No. would, would right, take us to right, take us. Right, take us <laughs> hey, see, not sure not, if you nah, guys see, heard, heard recently. When I get into my shit. But Meg the Stallion <laughs> was caught booed see? up with GE the Stallion. Booed up. See, when I get into my shit, y'all want to let me get my shit off. Nah, nah, y'all want to let Rory get his shit off. Uh, I think that would. I think the gay why? community is a really loyal. And why? I don't know. Why do I That's think they're a loyal community? Because yeah. <laughs> he's Rory's gay. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> I hang out with that community. Why? But why do you think they're so loyal? Because uh, I think they've been through. A, they've been through a lot together, so they stick together. So if Joe came out the closet, so has black people. I, well, that's a separate point to what I'm saying. No, we've been we've been through a lot together, and, and black people are loyal. I know. <laughs> so what's your point? So why? So why if we, if he comes out as gay, like the show will just go to another level? Because that's a whole nother community that will you know the gay support us now. <laughs> oh wait, more m- 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 cornered Rory against a race wall. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> gay, gay is not a race. Oh, you support the gays, but not us. Gay is not a race, Joe. <laughs> gay is not a race. No black. I know, but it's not a race. Ah, uh, don't try to get me. Yeah, 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 I see what's going on. <laughs> Listen to whoever said that. That I don't want to spend much time on this. Whoever said that Joe was coming out of the closet in 2020. It's fine if you are Joe. Yeah, we're here. We support to, you yeah, either way. Support. Just just to let you know, I'm not saying yeah. that there's any truth to that. Mo, you do know if I was gay, I would carry a closet around with me. <laughs> To hide in it or come out of it? No. Just come out of it wherever. <laughs> Yo, I'm out. You do, you do know that I would storm out of there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, does anybody need to know that here? How fast no. I would barge out of the closet to no. let you know who I am? No, I'm just putting that out there so that people don't think that we would have a problem with that. There would be no problem. That's the other reason I got offended. I that, would, that I'd be offended if people thought we would be offended at Joe being Imagine gay. the Billy Porter versus Joe Budden uh, red carpet awards. I this should be fire. Yo, let me announce to anybody that needs to hear this out there, you guys. I don't know who needs to hear this, but in all of Joe Budden contracts, in the details, it very astutely says... Do not come out? <laughs> yeah. You have a, a gay clause? <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like Santa Claus, but gay Claus. <laughs> No, warrior man. You're not cool to me. You're not tough to me. You're not the measuring stick of what street niggas listen to. Uh, to hey, whoever. get them strippers their money, man. I don't like that shit. Yo, Mo, shut yeah. the fuck up. <laughs> shut Joe, the fuck up. Joe's now, coming Mo. out about his, his contract. So, oh, in all of my contracts, it 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 uh, very clearly states that none of my people that partner with me can have any influence on my creative, can alter my creative, can dictate or enhance my creative. Say that You just want to say dictate. You said anybody that you're what? Partnered with in any of my deals. Have no authority. I see what you're doing. You're deluding. You're eluding. I know what he's doing. They have (laughs) zero authority over my creative. Okay. Mm. Let Mm. it be known. I have to. Yeah. I took a, took a little offense to that. So what does that have to do with your gayness? <laughs> That's what I was trying to wonder about. Nothing, Rory. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll ask the really tough questions. Shoot. What did you guys think of the halftime show? I loved it. You know I loved it. Why would I know that, Parks? Bad Bunny Parks, Parks loves Bad Bunny. <laughs> I even tweeted during the halftime show. That was a great tweet. <laughs> I said, Parks show. is losing his mind right now. <laughs> I, and I was. The moment he came out, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Parks is standing on top of a couch somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, no. uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, we spoke off mic. Comes uh, up firing. Everyone... Here's the throw to the plate, and he is safe at the plate. We will have a let challenge. Me, let me try to shit on Shakira and J-Lo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Oh, no, I know you're going to. No, no, you don't I'm know gonna, shit. I'm going to stay safe no, over no, here. No, 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 you don't know I'm shit I'm going to stay safe Joe's over here. Do. He's on base. He's comfortable. Hey, 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 hey. Listen, no, Joe is done coming I'm here waiting and, for the signal from the dugout. And, and I'm chilling. Giving my real thoughts on things. I'm not shitting on Shakira or J-Lo. Or the halftime show, or the four songs they did. Oh, you wanted a full concert experience? <laughs> Listen, I'm not shitting on you. Beyonce and Bruno Mars gave us four records. No, they didn't. No, they. Did <laughs> it's not. a short halftime. No, they did. It's not, not that long. No, it's only they fifteen did not. minutes. Beyonce and Bruno Mars gave us at least thirty-five to forty records. <laughs> <laughs> at least. That's on, the, that's on the low side. <laughs> yes. One, they gave one, us a double album. No, one hundred percent they did. That's on the low so, side. Nah, but go ahead and get your shit off. <laughs> no, I thought it was a good halftime show. I love it. I really did. I enjoyed it. Um, that's that's they what threw I got. A little man. political I, statement. I, I, I fucked with that. I like the music. I just like looking at J-Lo. Right. And she's from the Bronx. So, I'm not so sure. you guys. Yeah, we fucked with it. Were, were her hips lying? <laughs> I liked it. They Maybe don't They don't lie, Joe. A little white lie. <laughs> that, them hips they, was, no, them they, hip, they them fibbed. A, <laughs> they fi- no, they that, fibbed. That was a huge lie. <laughs> <laughs> them, them hips was a huge lie. Nah. How old is Shakira? She's 40-something, 45, I think. Okay. Yeah. Y'all got 30. Savon working. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> He's I mean, trying they, to enjoy the show. <laughs> <laughs> they still look good. For sure. Yeah, were they the, look good. Were the hips on stage or no? Nah? They was there, man. They weren't they weren't right. 20 year old hips. There's a lot of gratuitous yeah. crotch shots. Nah, nah, y'all right. It was an amazing <laughs> performance. They both looked great. Hips was intact. Everything was wonderful. Yeah. That's crazy, color. man. You know, so you don't believe it. You don't believe in aging. You can fuck with the bondage. There's a lot of bondage shit going on there. Fam, I didn't <laughs> give a fuck about nothing that was happening on there. They danced. They danced great, as as great as you could dance at that age, mm-hmm. and which was great. I, which was great. I, I, which was great. <laughs> but it should have been great, and we should have expected it to be great because that's what they've been doing for the past thirty years. So yes, great dancing, and amazing production and lights and smoke and fireworks. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh. All right. <laughs> let me uh, good. let me know. Can, so can I just you, ask you a question? Time, what did you want? Word <laughs> music. Joe won a prince to fall from the sky with his guitar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, I mean that would have been nice. Hey, wait, 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 that would have been nice too. You're fam, dealing. We're dealing with two pop fam, stars. You're not e- dealing with prince. Even, don't even a hey, blasphemous all of you for even mentioning the god in this. No, in I said this. that's what you wanted. I didn't say that this was any way in co- comparable. You did, you no, did see Prince. Did, do you remember Prince? Oh, yeah. So don't mention Prince no more. No, I said that's it what you wanted. It rained purple. No, but, but that's the standard. <laughs> it rained. That's, the, that's the standard purple. you're holding. It rained purple. It but that's the standard rain. you're holding. With the purple every, one of one g- guitar. God was in the building that night. And that's a, a fact. little phallic action with the yeah, uh, screen. Yeah, come on, man. I'm not rolling with that. Listen, but that's, but that's what the show was cool. The halftime show was cool. Don't, was pay, good, don't paint me to, to, to be the hater of things. It was a cool show. It was a great look for Bad Bunny and J Balvin, too. I fuck with that. This is available on YouTube now? Yeah, it's out there. Well, more you can everything see, like, is available on YouTube. You can only see, like, At one point, this Prince performance we are was not too. available on YouTube. I remember that. 
No, I recently watched that when I was telling you that he said that. Uh, can you make it rain harder? Uh, that was that was one of my other favorite parts of uh, the commercials during the Super Bowl, like seeing Hulu and YouTube and uh, all the likes of them advertising on television, saying, "Hey, fuck television." <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys are watching now, but hey, this when this is wave. over, you don't need to. <laughs> you're be. not going to want to watch this. Well, fuck with us. Who's owned by the fucking TV station? So they don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I still liked it. Yeah. Um, they're probably all owned by the TV stations. Anyway, all right. Are you guys on this kill kill cow Shanahan wave? Nah, kill him. Why? Yeah, give give us some background. Uh, because he was offensive coordinator of the Falcons when they blew the largest lead in Super Bowl history against the Patriots, mm. coupled with blowing a double digit lead in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. Here, mm. uh, he has been outscored forty one to zero. Uh, in the fourth, uh, in the second half of Super Bowls, both the second and the first and second largest comebacks ever have happened against Cal Shanahan. So I'm asking you guys, are you killing Cal Shanahan? Nah, I wouldn't hire him. Come on, don't make this all Jacob. <laughs> wouldn't hire him. Don't, don't, don't make this can't, all Jalen and Jacoby. Can't, can't can't say I'd hire him, but uh, you know, that is interesting. Well, he's apparently really bright. Oh yeah, but no, there is sure. something to be said for you know being really bright until the lights hit. But there was a couple oh, yeah. no, that's a there different were several platform. kind of game changing plays that Garoppolo didn't hit. So I can't really kill him for that. Like that Emmanuel Sanders play would have won the game. That would have been it right there. Or all of the George Kittle plays. Or all of George <laughs> Kittle plays. So I'm not gonna kill him for that. No. I do think they should have ran the ball more. What same same thing happened in Atlanta. Why would you not just run the ball out? But it made for a much better Super Bowl, so honestly, no. Go yeah, I enjoyed Taylor. I enjoyed the second half of the game much much more to maybe his fuck ups. Yeah. And then I read that Garoppolo's contract is like the exact opposite of guaranteed. Like that they can get away from that before the draft. Really? Yeah, without having to pay him at all. Well, NFL contracts oh, wow. are fucked up, so I wouldn't be surprised. Very few people have like real guaranteed contracts. Yeah, but quarterbacks usually is a little safer. Uh, no, that's, that's, <laughs> Somebody going to pay him. The list is getting longer for who Maul has to fit, fix their contract. <laughs> that, that's Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely have to fix Olivia. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy G. Jimmy G. No, no, that Mace one is over. <laughs> <laughs> you can, you can forget that, buddy. <laughs> Go on, stop trying to get me in trouble <laughs> again. Man. Yo, stop, yo, I'm, like, you I'm letting you get your shit off. Trouble. I thought she was on no, your cleanup. Park, no, Parks is trying to get me in trouble. Oh, right, I'm not. I thought she was trying to get me in trouble and double down. You do it too, damn it. I thought, I you, I thought you was on your cleanup. My bad. Mo, <laughs> clean up what? Yo, they was they was on to, you have you have some things on your, on your head. We get out of the Super Bowl real quick. You want to talk about the splits? <laughs> yeah, talk about Jimmy but, G splits. But, but clean up what? Look, you coming? You smiling at me? Nah, now. I'm just saying. <laughs> Cause sweat. they was at me, and I'm like, yo, talk to your man. You know what I'm saying? Talk to Creators me. create. But what's yeah. your, what what's they talk to me about? They was they wasn't feeling your your energy when it came to when it came to Puff and Mace. They ain't like that. Yeah. Shut so up. you need. To, I'm just telling you, they ain't no like fuck that. What they didn't no, like. I'm just telling you. you know. I didn't like that they didn't like it. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they usually was, I was a little. I was a little hurt. Why? Why? You had to know they wasn't gonna feel you. No, on I that. did not. Yeah. You yes, you do. You, you can't scream you on the side of the creators and then not be on the side of the creators. My entire argument last week is that Puff is a creator. No, but you know, <laughs> so was Mace. That's my point. Right. So how am I not on the side of the creator when it's two creators? No, but the thing was, it's it's clear that yeah. Mace is in the shitty, he has a shitty deal. That's not That's clear. Not clear. That is I, clear. I said last week that I can't pull anything from this based off one side. That's fair. You think? Uh, I thought I was being more than fair last week. Who you, owns Biggie? Do you publishing? think L.A. Reid is a creator? L.A. Reid has been a creator. He graduated away from that. But has has there been sessions where L.A. Reid has participated in the creative? Yes. Definitely. Does, does L.A. Reid have some of that pub? We've seen those stories, just, too. Yeah. Just, yes. just, just curious? Yeah. L.A. Reid, yeah, he goes in that boat for me. I uh, agree. There's a, bunch, there's a few people that belong in that boat, and that's where the conversation is nuanced, Maul. That's what I was saying. Not like It's not that they, they kept mentioning that I was crying during De La Soul versus Tommy Boy. Yes. That's a very different... Yes, I was. There's a very big difference in that situation, if I, if I can interject briefly. Tommy Boy, they came to 
uh, De La Soul came to Tommy Boy, from what I understand, from what's been told. They came to them with an album full of samples, and Tommy Boy said, no, nah, don't worry about it. You're not going to sell no records anyway. Don't clear the samples. Well, We're not going to clear the not samples. Not even samples, just straight records. Yes, straight up full <laughs> songs, damn near. Love De La, I'm just, let's Great be clear. Album, one of the most <laughs> important it's, it's albums of all time. Straight records. And then... Now we're saying, now nah, we're not giving you better splits because you got to pay off all this sample shit. That's fucked up. That's them being negligent and saying, nah, don't do that, and then holding you to that. To That's add to that, my beef with, with them there and why I say I'm always on the side of creators, Tommy Boyd not only didn't believe in that project, you, you put it out. That was the extent of your role. So now, yes, the pub has outperformed whatever agreement y'all have had Y'all should have the decency, back to your argument last week, the decency to open that conversation. Y'all were not a part of the creation of this. I don't hold Puff to that. That's long before I started working with Puff. That's my, that's my issue. That's why I was hurt. That's why I was offended. Because if there's one person in this business who has proven himself to not acquiesce that way, it's me. Don't look at your phone now. No, no, I was just <laughs> Damn it. something. That was a big word. Yeah, but yeah. you know, my thing is again the 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 bigger conversation was us enslaving each other. Like that was the bigger conversation. Like we shouldn't do dirty business with each other just because the music industry is dirty, especially when we control music. Like but what if I think we all agree with that? Yeah, that's all I'm saying. Like don't we got to stop putting each other in fucked up positions just because we feel like the music industry was built on a fucked up position more okay but let's do this let's do this now and a lot of what i say comes from kind of my own experience and shit mm -hmm. let's do this when i was 19 years old or however old i was 20 years old i don't remember and i turned on the tv and saw webb next to clue at a knicks game or maybe saw webb anywhere with clue or just saw what they was doing right mm -hmm. and the situation that they had planned on doing, mm -hmm. which was the same thing everybody was doing back then. Hey, I want to build a studio. We'll form a production team. Mm -hmm. One of the street niggas will create the music. We'll use our relationships to get where we're going, right? Mm -hmm. At 18, I was willing to make that trade. Mm -hmm. In that trade, what was told to me that was standard is 50% of your publishing is relinquished from the rip. A lot of people who got but deals... that's an old model, though. Well, Not I'm, well, I'm talking about old times. Yeah. I'm talking about old times. Yeah. I'm talking about 2000, 2001. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure that's old. I think that's still happening. But carry on. For the most part. Yeah. That, that, well, well, that's the thing. Today, that doesn't still have to happen because there are other no. viable outlets. But sure. if you want to go straight... There are straight, other ways to get a deal today. But it, if you want to... If you want to go straight with, major, yeah. you're going to run in, into that. In yeah. 2000... You were giving up 50% of your pub, right? Mm -hmm. And this is my point. Just follow me. This may be long. So you give up 50% of your pub. Mm -hmm. And, oh, I was talking about me, right? For me, I was locked into that for 18 years where right. on top was owed half of my publishing. Even after they had long stopped having anything to do with the music business. And I fought for it with the publisher and with them. Their argument was, we have put in too much there. You're not asking us for something that is yours. You're asking us for something that's ours because of what we put in. And you have to acknowledge that. And they kept it a buck with me because we were so fly. Fam, why would I sell you your pub, the pub back? It's mine and I worked for it. Yeah, but when you say it's, it's, it's yours and you worked for it, my thing is if... No, they're saying that. Right. My thing is this. If I have a label or a management company and I see a young kid in the hood and he's, I know he's got all his talent, I have money, I'm able to put some money into him, it should be this simple. The money that I spend on you, as long as I make that, we could make money together, but at any point when you say, yo, listen, I want to own all my publishing, as long as I made back what I put in, I'm cool. I didn't take a loss. So I'm not, but I'm all right. But, I'm, but I'm that's not, that's I'm, not that's not business. That's not good business. Yeah. Well, but and, why is that and not I'm good not business though? Just because because even you don't you don't do you don't do business to break even and then yeah, to but not if own I don't, any if I don't of your have work. Nothing to do with you. If I don't speak to you for twenty years and I'm still making money off of music that you wrote, music that you created. If it's music I'm a part of, right? But how we don't need to speak no more. All you did was pay for my studio time. All you did was like get put me in a position to be heard. Cool. 
great. We made that business happen together. We had that moment. We made history together. But now, if we haven't spoken in twenty years, but that's where that you shouldn't still be making money off of me. But that's why not? Because I'm not making money off of you. Yes, you are. How? You have fifty percent of your publishing. Theoretically, I don't know what basis publishing. Yeah, but that, are, I but. wrote these songs. This is my shit. Yeah, and you're, well, I mean, that's you're getting a chunk of it. That's not just music. Yeah, but that's, you that's, didn't write any of it. That's kind of the point of investing. Like, but outside of music, period. Like, say, I'm if, just saying, if say, if, say if you want to open up a restaurant, and I have the bread to open that restaurant with you, and that's even that's your forte. But I'm the bank for this point, and I'm say, all right, give me fifteen percent. Once I, I get my money back, then I'll take fifteen percent profit of everything you do from there. That's just the point of investing. That's not yeah. that's not a music thing. That's, yeah, that's but just. But a at business some point, thing. if I say, listen, I want I want I want all of my publishing, and I have mm-hmm. the money to pay you. Like here's however millions of dollars. Like you shouldn't make it difficult at that point for me to own my publishing. What if theoretically, hypothetically, he spent way more than the two million dollars? Oh no! But this is that goes back to what I said. As long as you made back what you put in, it shouldn't be a beef with we you. We don't know that he made back what he put in. I'm sure he did. He probably did, but we don't. Mace know. did a lot over there. No doubt. Mace wrote a lot of so music. Did Puff. Well, Mace wrote a lot of music, though. So did Puff. He's arguably the second biggest artist ever over there. I think he is the second biggest artist over there. So, okay. Somebody kept the lights on. Puff. <laughs> you don't think Mace had anything to do with that? No, I think, I think Mace had a big chunk, after, especially after Big Die. Yeah. yeah, that's all I'm saying. So, I no, think I, he's just I, owed I some type of but position if he's getting, of... hypothetically, half of his pub... 25% I guess If he's busting it down With Puff But he's 50, saying 50. he wants All of his publishing back That's not fair But that's not His call Why is that not his call I'm just trying to understand I'm not an artist just Help me understand You're an artist help, Or You know You've been If I'm that. coming If I'm bringing all these ideas We went, we went into business yeah, together yeah, This mm-hmm. is what I know And I have viewed this This way Long before A Puff relationship mm-hmm. One thing seems to have been consistent through every bad boy project ever. That's with boy bands, girl bands, little known rappers, big rappers. There's a certain sound that is consistent. Even when these artists have come and go, Mm -hmm. the sound remains the same. Mm -hmm. So I argue when you say, I wrote those records. Yeah, writing is one aspect of publishing. Right. If I go in and my IP is the record and I instruct you on what to do, as we've heard numerous times from bad boy artists about Puff, Mm -hmm. then part of this publishing, the creator publishing, is mine. Okay. If you come up yeah, with the idea of that's like, just I my point the sample, with Puff. I hired all the producers, I put it together, all you did is come in and fill the blanks. Not saying that Mace didn't do more than that, but hypothetically, mm-hmm. in any situation, it's mm-hmm. very common, you know this. Mm-hmm. See people get a record and they just fill in the blank. Right. Do you deserve does not the people that made the whole canvas deserve a piece of that money? Of course they do. And, Absolutely. We're, and we're joking around bringing up Rich and Olivia, Olivia, but I thought that that was a very poignant example. Olivia pops back up on Love and Hip Hop saying, "Yo, you robbed me. I already checked TuneCore. I've spoken to everybody in place, and all of this money went to Dollars Unlimited, which is your company. Mm-hmm. And Rich replies and says, yeah, I own that song. <laughs> that is where the money was supposed to go. It was mine. I was trying to get other people to sing this song. Yes, we're friends, oh, but how do you expect this to be divvied up if you know anything about the music business? Now, was that... Uh, I won't say that that's malicious, but... How don't you understand that aspect of it? No, I understand that business is business. I understand that. But my thing is, there's a lot of fucked up so business. So if Mace that- has 50% of his pub, mm-hmm. if he has 50% of his pub, mm-hmm. does that change this argument for you? If he's now coming and asking for the other 50% that's yours for the work that you put in? Um, and that was I, what I if, was trying to articulate last week. Yeah, if he, if Maybe he, I got that wrong somehow. And I don't think it's, I don't think it's 50-50. I think him and Puff maybe bust down because I don't know what they're. Well, publishing also gets sneaky because it's two hundred percent. That's so. Yeah, I'm not usually. I don't want to use numbers here. Usually, a co-publishing he, thing would be a fifty-fifty for 
to break it down a little more. But simpler. with the parent company, I don't know what they took. They would get fifty too. Yeah, they would so hundred, and then the other half would go. The other hundred would be fifty to the producers, fifty to the writers, of which. Puck That's why I'm saying game. I don't know if, if Mace owns 50% of his publishing. That's all I'm saying. And I don't want to <laughs> beat people down with this, this yeah. pub talk because it is complicated. It is confusing. Yeah. It's nuanced. Yeah, It's a lot. But at some point, we got to have the conversation about artists selling their pub when it's convenient for them. Because for a long time, that was the way to do it. No, it's still happening. It's still ha- with these. Uh, what's the shit called where you can buy people's... Uh, Oh, the catalogs. And the we bit. talked about it on this. Yeah, we talked about it before. I but forgot the name, but yeah. Dream, uh, Dream, Dream was the first yeah. person that, that made it more popular. Yeah. Um, Sold it for some stupid amount that he probably could have got more from. But people it was still a lot of money. People are still doing it. People are still selling yeah. their pub. Bottom line, Joe is not with anybody getting robbed. Or the now there's perks. Hmm? Yeah, that, there's that, perks. Was, that was my biggest thing. Like, we just got to stop robbing each other. Yeah, and, and having someone sign something that they're not aware that they're signing. I think on a, on a moral on a moral ground, I'm speaking to that, which happens every day, especially in business. But that's but what I'm saying you on a moral know ground. What you're signing, but don't really fully understand the implications, and it's hard to fault someone because you don't really realize what that means over the long term. Like, say, yeah, he might have had a good lawyer. He might have had all that shit. We don't know. I don't know. Mm. I'm speculating. But in general, you might have a good lawyer that can tell you what that means, but you don't really feel what that means until. You know, twenty years later, you're like, "Fuck, <laughs> I signed away twenty million dollars yeah. for twenty grand, or whatever the case might be." I guess my advice with the lawyer thing is, get your own lawyer, even when you're doing business with people, and you think that we—that's our lawyer. Yeah, it's no, get your own. <laughs> Maul, do you believe there's a such thing as uh, uh, friendship in business? Friendship in business? Uh, it depends. And this on- is not related to our uh, this puff and maze talk. Now I'm just uh, uh yeah. I believe that, it, especially it, depending on who the uh, who, who the parties are. Like if we grew up together and we were crazy fly before, you know, talents reached a certain level and business came into play, then absolutely. Like, because before this, we was we was down. So absolutely, in that case, yes, he was definitely friends before. Because without this shit, you used to sleep on my couch. Or you, we used to we fought niggas together. We, you know, what I'm saying right, it was right. like nigga, we grew up together. Right. So absolutely, in that case, if it's people like that going into business, absolutely. I agree. Okay. That sometimes can make it even more complicated. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was, I can speak to this directly because I, I have a business with my friends. And it, of course, it always brings up awkward conversations, especially in the beginning that maybe you didn't want to have because that is your man's and maybe he doesn't contribute what he thinks he contributes to certain conversations. But I think if there is a love there and there is a trust there and you have a really open conversation about these things... You'll get to it. it. It'll take some time and some arguments, but if that's really your friend, you'll find some middle ground that, that hey, we can live here. If we're friends, we're not ever beefing over money. No, and I, I would dead a, we, I would dead a business before, before I would before dead the friendship. Even the, in the equation. Yeah. Like, that's why I love that Quincy Jones doc when he said me and Frank Sinatra never had a contract with each other. Mm. We were just best friends. We, mm. we, we, we had a talk. We shook hands, and nobody nobody robbed ever robbed any, anybody. Yeah. It was like he wrote for me, I wrote for him. Would you do any of your business like that today off of handshake? If it's my man like that, absolutely. I would. Because you know that that's never going to come in between y'all. Like, you have to have that type of... I'm just saying you have to know your relationship with, your, with who you're talking about. Obviously, Quincy Jones knew him and Frank Sinatra was... This is my guy. Like we Plus that was in the era that... And you had I was going to say, I, 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 would, I would say no to that, that okay. question, Joe. Well, Maul has a lot more male friends than me, too. Um... I will say that I, ha- I absolutely am in business relationships like that. Currently. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you're but friends, if that's my homie, we ain't, ain't no piece of paper going right. make us keep our word. I'm that being said, I, I would never no, recommend I'm, I'm it. currently in, in some of that as well. Yeah, I would never recommend and we, it, and by the we way. we honor it. Yeah. Honor what? Like, I have a handshake deal in place with, with some people. Yeah, me too. Yeah, but that's, it, it, like I said, it depends Actually, on who Actually, I have with. a handshake deal in place with quite a few people. I'm just, I just, I do good business. Yeah. Like, I try not to fuck people over in business. That's it. I hear y'all. And, and, and I have those as well. Um, but I think anytime, obviously, you get into business and you want the business to grow. And when it grows, sometimes it's tough to keep track of a lot of things, um, whether it be expenses, hiring business managers, hiring lawyers, hiring a bunch of people that really have no interest in your friendship or the handshake that you had. Um, and I think even when you have other businesses besides the one you and your friend have, things can 
interchange. Expenses can come from one thing to another thing because you're just not just negligence as, as human beings. Yeah. So it, it's helpful. I think everyone should always spend that fifteen hundred dollars to it, just put it in writing. Yeah, I agree. Just just call it a day. Spend that. It's it's gonna lessen the headache. Or at the very least, you should have some type of email or text or something. So there's something. Oh, I, listen. If you don't I, have the fifteen hundred dollars, I'll, I'll do the the old school copy. Write write it on a piece of paper, put it in the mail, and mail it to yourself. Mm. Yeah, at the very <laughs> I'll least, do the old copyright. You should like, do something. You should do something. Yeah. <laughs> For me, what supersedes all of that is being as valuable as you can be at all times. I agree. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Like absolutely, if you have all the all of the value that you think that you have, you'll be able to get the handshake deal off and have people walk in line as long as you're valuable. Yeah. And if for you that's in perpetuity, then goddamn it, it should be in perpetuity. But, and we'll get out of this because it's becoming morbid. But even when you are and, and boring, yeah. <laughs> even when you're really, really close with someone, and something may affect your life where you're not as valuable, now you're looking at your friend like, I know I'm not valuable now, but we friends. You said you was gonna do this. Yeah. So that's where it comes weird. But let's move on and have fun. Yeah. Well, no, no, I don't know, Jeff. The JBP boys are on the second night of a back-to-back. <laughs> it looks like they played they played a tough one last night in triple overtime. <laughs> Was the Super Bowl halftime show too sexy? <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next week. I can't believe that. <laughs> y'all let the little Spanish girls do it for y'all. J-Lo, women. J-Lo does it. They're grown J-Lo's women. 50 years old. Hey, Rob, gonna bat your head off his shoulder. He's gonna bat your, your head off by calling her a little Spanish girl. Word. All right, come on. What what other Super Bowl stuff is there to get to? Uh, Hove and Beyonce sat down during the national anthem. Oh yeah, it's that's lit. news. Yeah, it's news. Yeah. People sitting. S- somebody that has a, a deal with the NFL and the NFL's biggest. <laughs> I... Oh yeah, I thought Jay was gonna shuck and jive and be up there, hat off, saluting the flag. Didn't think that Just at all. Just when you thought it was over. Just when you thought that Joe was the only one that was throwing the cape on for his man. The funny thing about that, play that. Here play we that are. Monster. <laughs> Biggs. <laughs> Caping for y'all, yo. Hove, I got you. This one's for the city. <laughs> <laughs> for the city. <laughs> he should sit. If that's how he feels. Hold up, man. We ain't even do our whole Vengeance Forum thing. Oh, uh, we got to put gotta, our... Come on, we got to form, y'all. We got to... <laughs> <laughs> Throw up the we got to get together. <laughs> Throw up the rock. Throw up the rock. <laughs> All right, come on. Defend it. React. I can defend it. You should do Give it. me some in-depth analysis here. What's happening? Tell the people what's going on. Uh, During the national anthem at the Super Bowl, uh, they panned to Jay-Z and Beyonce from shaky cell phone footage. And they were sitting down during the national anthem. Cool. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I got. I was about to say, I, I don't see what's wrong here. You but guys. Okay. You guys. That's that's his right. What they're that's saying his... is wrong is that Hove told Kaepernick that we were past sitting and kneeling. Uh, and we need to take action. The old hypocrisy chains only back. Only for him to sit down later. I wish we could All right, well, why, why, why can't you? Uh, yeah, like, you know, people could change their minds. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's not. That's well, not, no, why can't you also act and sit? I was just about yeah. to say, like, like we're, pa- we're that, past that, just kneeling. Yeah, <laughs> like that, that people just, you just take things out of. That, that doesn't mean he has to wear a Star Spangled Banner shirt and salute. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's be, be clear, he was in charge of the halftime entertainment, which Joe hated, so. But I mean, the narrative that y'all paint leads our audience to believe that I hate everything and I don't. Well, you do it to us, so it's just, we're just returning. We're on defense. Yeah. I just have a, a, a yeah. I just don't get him, Joe. Get him. Run to the same mediocrity you can't call that, you y'all, Sean, that y'all like. Sean. Oh God, Bradley, and then yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. E- I'm not as easily impressed as you guys. The uh, end. Or or maybe we. Didn't care that much, and it was cool. <laughs> like, well, well, Rory, like, oh, that was cool. Everything from Joe is not a personal attack on you, Rory. When I say you guys, I meant just the other people out there, not you and Parks. Oh, well, I thought we were having conversation amongst the people in the room. Well, we can do that, too. I think it's cool. You should. I used to sit before all of this, though. <laughs> 
That's the fun. That's what I'm thinking. Sitting there thinking about. Y'all, like, y'all took it somewhere different. If 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 I personally can, if it's a fact, if you do a poll and the people say that I could arguably create a better Star Spangled Banner than whatever's playing, <laughs> I, I'm gonna sit. <laughs> like, Hope could definitely make a better Star Spangled. Ah, uh, yeah, I think Hope so too. and Beyonce would destroy the fucking Star Spangled Banner. Ooh, yeah. They would kill it. They would give us some ill shit to bop to. A yeah, vibe. Yeah. Streets need that. A vibe. Imagine even. starting a football game with this instead. Oh, nah, this is going to be a good game. <laughs> you hear this? Hey, you want to hear this before a football game or you want to hear national anthem? No, it's going to be a good game. <laughs> you bring the flutes to a football game? Yeah. <laughs> How can you not go out there and throw for over 400 I, I, yards? I think the white people would be just as confused as they were by <laughs> Jennifer Lopez and Shakira <laughs> and Bad Bad Baby and, bad bunny. and Homeboy. J Balvin. J Balvin. How, well, they weren't confused. They knew who was performing, though, right? It's Miami. Miami <laughs> is Wait, it, more, if you about yeah. to say to me that them white people knew what was going on on that stage, Miami is white people a, love a Shakira and J Lo. Yeah, Latin no, American. white people like them. White people love Jennifer Lopez. They're pop stars. Yeah, they love J Lo. My conversation is about the white people present, not about white people in general. Yes, to be those types of pop stars, white people have to like you. The but you're in people, Miami. The, 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 the Latin act, community is very large in Miami. It's a majority. Yeah. Nobody, no white people at that game were confused I about. Okay, Latin and 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 we can talk about word. the white people yes, that the are word. there. How? The fam, you're in the, Miami. The, they pan to the audience. Why are you asking me? I'm black in Queens. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking about the white yeah, but people you, that if were there. You were confused at this Super Bowl. Nah, in Miami, Joe, I, I, but I, I, I think the, the Super Bowl. I think the confused. pop star crowd would be there. This isn't your typical Budweiser parking lot white people that can afford the Super Bowl. I think those white people knew the pop stars. Maybe not Bad Bunny and and J Balvin, but. Y'all, y'all don't see any movement behind the, the people props in the front. You can't see. It's dark. I'm, I can. It's I, dark, I, I Joe. can. Everyone, look. Every, look, red lights are standing still. <laughs> what are you talking All right, forget it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Move on. Move on. What else What else do we got? I don't think there's much else from the Super Bowl. Yeah, we get, we get out of there. I'm over the Super Bowl. <laughs> I bet y'all all off the whole, the whole sit down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's, all right. All right. No, let's get into it then. What's wrong with the whole sit down? Hey, nothing, buddy. I think everybody liked that. Were Nothing people mad at that? The whites. Oh, they would be mad. <laughs> they would be mad at that. The whites always have. Yeah, nobody was always having an issue. That, yeah. Except for the whites. What was her name? Tommy Lauren? I don't like Is that her name? I, I, we shouldn't even say Human. her name. Yeah. I don't say her name. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know that the job was all on the not saying her name thing. Yeah, she's boycotted. She's a clown. Okay, those are the two band names from the JBP, T- TL and AB, <laughs> and whoever Maul's dating. <laughs> That's not even an and initial. Yeah, we, we, we can't even bring that up. Yeah, joke, don't act- joke, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> joke him in here and tries to put the team on his shoulders for the lack of things we get from Rory and Parks because you guys are engaged. <laughs> what? I think we're pretty good for being engaged. Rory, I think I, think I wait, give it we, up. Wait, we... Wait, <laughs> I think I'd give it up for my 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 you, situation. You, you do, but why did Parks think he got to throw a we in? What has he about, ever shared aside from Jeff Goldblum fucking stealing <laughs> stealing his chicks? That's still the wildest shit ever to me. By the way, because he's number one on the list. Jeff yeah. Goldblum, it's true. <laughs> Nigga couldn't get his chicks from Jeff. <laughs> Damn, Damn Parks. Jeffrey, hate to see it. Yeah, you do. In honor of Black History Month, every podcast this month. Uh, I want to highlight a black man or a woman that I, I that I respect, that inspires me, that motivates me. We certainly do not have enough episodes in the month for me to get to all the different names that applies to, uh, but I'm going to try my best to give it a shot here. So, hey, huh? All right, enough, enough styles. Styles is making me angry now. <laughs> um, and first up on my black people who inspire me list would be drum roll, please. <laughs> Shit. 
Who was playing was that good. drum? That was an interesting good. drum roll. Good. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting off with Will Packer. Okay. Yes. Screen man, I know you don't know about Will Packer. Pull up whatever you can find. Will Packer, to me, is amazing. Uh, he's a visionary. He just be ahead of the curve with shit. He paves the way and leaves a path for all creators to come behind him. Uh, and my affinity with Will Packer starts in just what he does. He has Will Packer Productions. He has Will Packer Media. He has Will Packer Everything. Um, Will Packer is an executive. Will Packer went to FAMU, which is a uh, Florida A and M. Will Packer in 94 started his own production company, independent. Will Packer put out a movie under that imprint that, what, cost 20 grand to make and eventually became the number one movie uh, uh, independently at that time. He went on to finagle his first deal with Universal. Uh, and if you're unfamiliar with Will Packer, his accolades are way too long. Uh, think like a man, ride along, ride along to Girl Strip, Almost Christmas, Straight Outta Compton, The, the Wedding Ringer, Night School, What Men Want. He he basically, just, he did the Tyler Perry. He did the Tyler Perry. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and because that's the field that I'm aspiring to get into, Will Packer provides me hope. He provides me hope. He's one of the few black people in Hollywood that probably won't hear a no. Uh, mm -hmm. He employs countless amount of people, and he did it all on his own. Yeah. Anybody who has that type of story inspires me. Actually, let me read a little bit because his story is his story is intriguing to me. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Uh, it was Fan Moody. He started filmmaking with his colleague and future business partner, Rob Hardy, while participating in an internship with veteran producer uh, Warrington Hudlin. In 94, Packer and Hardy produced their first film, Chocolate City, for 20 grand. Packer helped broker a, broker a small distribution deal with Blockbuster Video. And his story, just to me, it says, like, sometimes you know when success is on the horizon because it has to ride with your success. Like, multiple successes. He was just yeah. successful at everything he did, and he rode that to where he wanted to be. 20 grand for Chocolate City. Packer helped broker a small distribution deal with Blockbuster Video. After graduating, Packer and Hardy moved to Atlanta, Atlanta and co-founded Rainforest Films. Packer produced and oversaw the company's studio financed and self-financed films and distribution projects. Y'all got to hear what's going on there in 94. Mm -hmm. Like, to have an idea, to execute it properly, and then secure the proper funding for somebody to continue helping you with your vision in as, the 90s. At such a young age. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, man. Um, in 2000, what movie is this? Troy? Great film. Rainforest Films' first movie to be released theatrically grossed over $1.2 million and became the fastest million-dollar grossing film independently distributed by African uh, African Americans. Like, listen to that. So he didn't. So he didn't just blow them out of the park at first. He grossed $1.2 million. Like his climb is gradual, and you could see it. Uh where? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Rainforest. In 2001, oh wait, Rainforest Films at 34, we don't care about that. In 2001, Packer helped broker a deal with Sony to produce and distribute urban films, including Troy's sequel, Troy the Escort, Escort and Motives. Uh, the, first, the film Lockdown, released on home video under this Rainforest-Sony collaboration, was one of Columbia TriStar's top-selling independent releases in 05. That's his story all the way up until now, uh, bottom line. He just won everywhere that he was. And outside of that, as a black man, he found a business partner that was unwilling to let him ever walk out of the door. And that's what happens when you win. So now he puts he put Kevin Hart in position, Tiffany Haddish in position. A lot of the black people that go on stage at these award shows and they start getting to thanking people, they thank Will Packer. And that's where that's that's my understanding of where he is today. Just constantly putting black people and white people, might I add, but it's Black History Month, so not about that. Black people in position to flourish at whatever it is they want to do. 
Uh, Issa Rae being one of those people. Will Packer is just a huge inspiration to me. And outside of this moment, I don't know if I would have ever said that anywhere. Is he involved with unless, uh, unless Issa's it was new? to him directly? Right. With Issa's new film, is he involved with that? Um, I didn't look to see. I wouldn't be shocked. I wouldn't be shocked either. That's why I, it sounds like I did something that he would definitely want to produce. In 2017, Packer yeah. launched Will Packer Media, a branded content and digital production company in partnership with Discovery Communications and Universal Pictures. So this is a relationship. Going for about 20 years now with Universal. They just would not let him leave once he started winning. And they provided him the necessary tools for him to continue to win. That may not be important right now, but in a few months, we're going to come back here and talk about how important that is. Finding a partner who gets your vision and won't let you leave. Mm. Uh, so I would like to just personally thank Will Packer uh, during Black History Month for all that he's done, all that he's accomplished, and for continuing to be a huge inspiration in everything that, that, everything that I do. Uh, and everything that I'm trying to get done. Yeah, I think that's a good pick. Dope. I think yeah. that's a real, real good pick. Yeah, I thought it was a good idea when uh, you hit us about that. And uh, I wasn't sure if you guys thought I would, it would be corny. No, nah. nah, I don't think it's corny at all. I don't think it's corny at all. Um, when else would we do this? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm, I don't want to be that guy, but again, I don't think we should wait for one month for, to do for this. For a month, yeah. No, I agree. That's I, agree I agree with you. That's all. But that's why I wanted to use this opportunity I get it. too. Not I so get much it. Black History Month, sure, that it fell in a great time. But with Kobe passing, listen, I don't know, man. I don't no, know I when the, the, the dudes I fuck with is going to go. I get so it. So I'm getting it out. I respect it. Yeah. Aurora, you were saying, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I, I put, and it's funny you mentioned that. I put together a list just because I thought it was a great idea. Um, and obviously, there's so much to pick from. I would feel remiss not to start the month out without bringing up Combat Jack. Reggie Osei's name. That was that was number one on my list. As soon as we had you had brought that up, I was like, I can't not start with Reggie Osei. Yeah, I was gonna end with that. <laughs> you stole my black inspiration <laughs> as a white man. Yeah, I, I I can't. Um, and this one's a little close to home, so I, I don't know how. I don't think I'm gonna give as long and dope detailed thing as Joe just did. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think this podcasting game. With Combat gets, Jack, you could just say, y'all know the fucking vibes. Y'all know the fucking vibes. <laughs> like, uh, especially within uh, empowering the, the black podcasting boom that is, has come. Um, you know, you could say anyone did it before or after. It doesn't matter. He took it and made it a thing. He started the Def Jam of podcasting to me. Mm. Um, and, and did it with, with not Def a... Jam probably? Loudspeaker? Loudspeaker. Uh, to, to, to him... Got it. To his credit. I got it. Um, and I, I've watched all that happen and, and watched him not ask for anything in return at all. Um, and he was so early in on getting in that network. It was never a money thing. I know, I know we had a long conversation about the, the friendly handshake thing. I saw Combat do that with so many people and put them in a position that they had n no chance in their own brain that they would be there right now. Combat put put that and instilled that into them and said, I don't need nothing. Just just, just be around me. Right. I'll yeah. fuck with you. Just I soak, think just, you're talented. Just soak up game. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I couldn't start this this thing without starting with, with Reggie Ose. Rest I in agree. Peace. I agree to Godfather this shit. Rest in peace to combat. And something that, you know, I paid I, I today. <laughs> Back then when when uh when combat was putting out like two and a half hour episodes, three hour episodes. Like, boy, did that seem like far fetched to me. It was like, un it was like unimaginable. Yeah. That somebody could sit and talk for three hours and have 250,000 people listening to that mm -hmm. and begging for more. Um, no, his, his interviews belong in museums. Like, agreed. They're, they're nuts that he was able to do that. And even if you got there late and felt like you was early, you went back two years like, wait, he has this interview with him? With her? <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's the part, Rory. I was just talking to Ian about this uh, earlier, actually. That's the part that selfishly is really sick about death for me. Like, when these people go... Yeah, they leave remnants behind and they inspire generations and, you know, all of that. But when people go, they take them with them. Mm. Like, Kobe's gone and how Kobe did Kobe with all of the gracefulness. And, yeah, we see the moves in the NBA, but how Kobe did Kobe is gone. 
Steve Jobs left, and the iPhone will never be the same. They're just going to improve the camera a bunch of times. Yeah. Combat Jack left, and how Jack did it is it's just you're not going to get that sauce anymore. Stuart Scott, rest in peace. I love nah. you, and I miss you. How he did it, Won't. how he did what he did, we are not going to see that again, even though we turn our TV on and see people attempt to emulate that. Yeah. Um, and I just think we take that for granted a lot of times, so... Uh, rest in peace, Combat Jack. Not to jump on your shit. I oh miss no, no, you. no! I wanted I this to be a group group, group discussion. Boy, do I love you! I think you should be paid fucking in perpetuity for some of the shit that's going on out here. But I know you up there and you proud of us. I know you up there and you proud of us. I, that, I, that puts a smile on my face. I definitely know he is. Because back to my original point of, fan, I don't. I'm not trying to put y'all in a deal. Like, I I just want to see this podcasting thing be great. Jack was giving out game, man. <laughs> Jack gave out game, and this is Joe shit. I have a thing for people that transition gracefully, mm. like yeah. uh, like uh, Shannon uh, Doherty from nine hundred two one zero just uh just came out and said that she has stage four cancer. That was my first time hearing that, but I put myself in her shoes and I was like, God damn, that has to be tough. That has to be tough to not only uh find that out, but to deliver that news to your audience or to an audience that's not yours. And what it's like, I put myself in them shoes to what it's like for your final days. Jack left just gracefully, man. He was posting pictures at the end still. Yeah, mm. from absolutely. The, from the hospital. Yo, we're going to beat this thing. Stuart Scott, same thing. I go back and watch his uh, SB speech a bunch because his speech and it's one more of those SB speeches. It's like some of the best speeches I've ever heard. So I listen to him a lot. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm getting off of Roy's shit now. <laughs> no, I, I wanted this to be a group thing. I, I I didn't want to put too much thought into it because I I was close with him, so I, I'll get teary eyed. I don't deal with that shit well. Mm -hmm. um, but I I just wanted if we were gonna have this conversation, I couldn't not do it without speaking about Reggie. That that's all it was because I don't think I'll do justice on mic to that. I, I could write something nice, but nah, I, I'll get too fucked up. So I just wanted to mention Reggie because I love I, lo I, I love him to death, and I think he should be mentioned if we're gonna start this segment because I think it's an amazing segment and he needs to start with it I agree okay I like it alright like what I got what's, what's Prem mean to you man <laughs> <laughs> Prem should be in this shit too no, no Prem will probably be Prem should yeah. be in it after Chuck Pacino <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start uh, I'm from a small town in upstate uh, New York called Elmira uh, 30,000 oh, people no <laughs> he said <I'm> Benny <laughs> Benny let's do it uh, I reached, just the other day I read that it was uh, 19 or, I'm sorry 2018 it was rated the 6th worst city in the country to live in for African Americans based on income ownership and incarceration rate mm. so oh, wow. does, does that go with wow. the prison that's there does, I'm sure There's that has to do two prisons and a jail okay so I wanted to highlight how much people. crime is happening in Elmira Two a prisons lot for us. and a jail? That seems like a lot. Well, it's uh, their state jail, Well, it's the state so. one that a lot a lot of people from New York City, if they get sentenced to state time, will go to Elmira. Correct. You've probably heard it in rap songs and didn't you? I have. No, I have. Yeah. I didn't know there that was that much, the two prisons and a jail. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. So I wanted to highlight uh, Ernie Davis from Elmira. Well, he was born in Pennsylvania, but he went to high school and uh, graduated in Elmira. So I wanted to highlight him. First black uh, Heisman Trophy winner. Okay. Drafted oh, okay. first by the Redskins and then traded to the Cleveland Browns and passed uh, from leukemia before he ever played. Before he ever played? Correct. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. But from Elmira, so rest in peace. Uh -huh. And more, you're not. You're too cool for sure. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> I don't acknowledge nobody. No, nah, acknowledge uh, somebody. We don't do that in Harlem. <laughs> nah, somebody that I think gets overlooked a lot in a. Uh, Business and uh, entertainment. Uh, Byron Allen. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think Byron Allen is not some a name that people bring up a lot. That's some racial shit, man. How can Byron Allen be overlooked in business? Well, he's like a multi billionaire, right? I think Byron uh, Allen. I think he gets looked over. He's he's worth a lot, but uh, he's just somebody that I think a lot of people in our culture don't talk about and don't know about. And um, I think he's definitely a, a black a black man that we should salute. And that we should uh, applaud for because he's 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 broken down a lot of doors. He's made a lot of things happen in entertainment and in business, coming from a comedian. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's his, essentially his start was comedy. Yeah, I forget that part. Yeah, so um, he's still on. Well, his shows on syndication. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah. Still, but I believe he owns a couple of networks. I think we talked about him he owns, briefly. He owns a, uh, yeah, a whole entertainment studio. We talked about him during the whole uh, Comcast debacle. Correct. Yeah, but he's somebody that we don't you don't we don't talk about a lot in That's our true. um in our culture, and a lot of it is because I think a lot of people don't like the fact that he's married to a white woman. I think people uh, feel they, some type of way about they that. like him when Meg do it though, right? <laughs> we we not gonna start that. Talk about but, it, man. I'm fighting for gender equality. I mean, we ain't gonna start yeah, that. I, but, I, yo, know. I call Sam a sellout every morning. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. But um, yeah, Byron <laughs> Allen, man. If you don't know about him, you should read up on him. You'll be surprised about how much he's done. And um, you know, I believe he owns a couple of networks. If I'm not mistaken, that was the Comcast yeah, deal. I believe few. that was uh, the civil rights deal. If yeah. I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, he's a, he's a big deal. He's yeah. a big deal in entertainment. Definitely. And I think that he's somebody that we should definitely uh, give their flowers to. Absolutely, for sure. You guys, that, I agree. Th- th- those were four really good picks to set this segment off. Yeah. Thank no, I think I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a good segment. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, this just played out differently differently in my head when I hit the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> like, all and, right, risque. And, I'm gonna try to bring in an idea. <laughs> no, it's great. And you hit us with a voice note, so I know you was like really a little concerned. <laughs> because texting it is what made it read a little corny to me. It's yeah, like, yeah, all right, now nah, they gotta hear me. <laughs> they gotta hear my voice on this one. <laughs> oh, all right, no, that was dope though. That was. Please listen to Style of Speed, Time is Money album. The album this record is from, Time is Money, is a, a really underrated Style P album. All of his albums are underrated <laughs> Style's albums. I think Gangster and a Gentleman gets his due. I love Styles P and his wife. I don't know if I've said that enough, but I do. Yeah. I love them. Um. All right, what up, what up, what up, what up, what we got? Listen, uh, silly me at home, right? Because I'd be home hating. And when you're home hating, you kind of are relishing Monday uh, for Monday to get here so you could kind of get all of the scoop that you missed. Mm. So I was waiting for all the Monday tea to come out. And Monday got here and none of the tea came out. And I was like, yo, what the fuck were they doing in Miami where I can't get any of the tea? Mm. And then I realized, no, there was a lot of shit going on just about shit that I don't give two fucks about. I.e. this Javante versus his baby mom shit. Yeah, cool, it happened. We got to talk about it. I don't give a fuck about what's going on there as long as she didn't get hurt. Cool. Right. Uh, Moneybag Yo versus Ari pulled her wig off. They got into it. I don't really care about what's going on. I missed that them. one, too. What else? French and 50. I saw I that. that one too. Back, I saw that one. Back at it. Hmm. Or they back <laughs> Wasn't at it enough about there for the story for me to be invested there. Okay. But they should stop. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little over fifty and fresh. It, it, it's it's weird at this point. Like, I don't make, think make, it's make a some real beef, make some music. Like, no, that's that's kind of my thing. It's not a real beef. Like, stop. They just they just trolling back and forth. Go make some music together. Yeah, I agree. And Megan Jeezy. Mm. That was the other Super Bowl story. That, right? was, that was so uncomfortable. He <laughs> wasn't feeling the vid. It just was. <laughs> Wasn't feeling these white kings taking our queens. He's not. Where is he taking mm, them? To the Hilton. Uh, you see what it is? To, to the, the Hilton. <laughs> <laughs> Little Motel 6 you know act. I mean, on top floor of the Hilton. Give me all these rooms. Listen, I, I fuck all with these rooms. I, I fuck with Jeezy, I know you man, did that. So I'm, I'm trying not to say nothing bad about Jeezy. What can you say oh, bad, bad, bad about Jeezy here? No, not about him, but about well, he this ain't got, He ain't got his pub. Not about this <laughs> clip, though. It's like Puff just, got his pub, too? <laughs> This he reminds his, me, he was in his smooch bag. Nah, this reminds me of you know you know how girls keep their gay bestie. Well, <laughs> wait, that's that's this what looks you like a gay bestie video like after the club we're in the bed I don't got nobody to like oh, come to the hate. hotel. <laughs> this is what it looks like when you got the swoop over here dude with the silk shirt. Like, come on, fam. He, he didn't look like he was going for. Uh... I fuck with Jeezy though. I like Jeezy. I, I don't think he is is the but gay this bestie. This doesn't look no. like this wait. doesn't look like Megan was. She had the hots for him. This looked like let's just do this for the gram, and I'm gonna flirt with this white boy. Listen, man, this, this, this is what you gotta I think. know when you're being used as a prop. This, this is what I think. See what I'm be saying? Doing. Like niggas don't be knowing when they props. <laughs> That's <laughs> the think problem. He cared if he was a prop. Just showing something more off camera. Ah, uh, okay. 
showing him some other exclusive is that, footage. Is that, uh, you kept the files? Of, yeah, oh, no, nah, I fuck we, with G's. We got, we got the, we got <laughs> the fuck with G's. We, we got the files. Mark. I'm talking about this video in all right, but particular. Look at all the videos. I, just, I never saw that video. Well, now that you have. Okay. <laughs> it's the same night, same fight, but, but one of us captains ain't playing right I'll let you talk oh we, we all video. been here we've yeah. been here well, and we've been on that we've been I'm on that video that's why I'm confused about but it's, Maul's take but oh, it's sorry, that boy. looks like a prop video is all I'm saying like I know that video just to get the get the gram up in the roar like you can't let these queens use you like that is all I'm saying did he beat or not I don't know Ooh. I'm not gonna speak to, I can't speak to that I don't know that's the fun part I, that, is the fun, <laughs> that is the fun part. Yo, but don't I can't let these queens that. scare you out of having fun, man. Who me? Yeah, oh, yeah. They only they only five fun. four. Yeah, yeah. I, always, I always have fun. I'm just saying, like that that video just looked a little. You got that with Jeezy and Trey Song didn't, didn't be, do do nothing. If, if what? Listen, man. <laughs> I think I of... think Meg. <laughs> what do you think Meg be getting big drunk <laughs> and just be living the way big drunk women live? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's take this conversation <laughs> off of Meg Meg and G Easy Stallion. She look good right there though. Oh, she looks great. great. Let's take this conversation off of them for a second. Rory, let me directly reply to what you just said. Mm -hmm. In your history of dealing with the girls that get big drunk, yeah. when you run into one that you would like some intimacy with, yeah. what the fuck is that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, is, it is that normally difficult for you to attain? No. And Megan looked like she'll Consensually, get drunk. Consensually, because we're in weird times. She's true. Megan looked like she'll get drunk with you, have a good time, flirt, kiss, and that's what I'm never let you beat. That's what I'm saying, Mo. That's the big drunk girl I'm Maybe talking you about. Think, you don't think Jeezy took it home? No. I don't know. Jono say. But this this looks a little propish, though. This, this looks like it's for the gram. That was on her page or his page? Oh, no. He was giving it up. You know Meg not doing that. <laughs> She, what are you talking about? She She's not posing. Work. I just She's said posing it, in it front of the camera saying, not on her page. it's my shit to do this right here. She's not, recording not on her page. I love doing it. Yeah, what is he doing? <laughs> he asked, yo, send me that vid. Look at the legs. <laughs> she was into it. I can't speak She's for y'all. I like when, when uh, a woman lets me do all this uh, and I don't have to finish the commitment of sex. There's oh no, I'd be that. the best part. Yeah. I yeah. get to go to the club, fin like, finger bang you in VIP, rub all on your ass, fucking tongue kiss you when I'm drunk. Allegedly. And then go, go, to the, go to the Hilton, get some blue balls, take it to the bathroom, jerk it out, and then bounce. <laughs> what a night. Nah, that's <laughs> wow. <laughs> 12 a.m., we gonna do it again. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. The fuck are you talking about? Nah. Why does the night always have to culminate in sex? Fam, look. I'm not saying it has hold to. Hold on, shut up for a minute. If I get I'm to, not saying it has to. If I get to kiss to, your cheek like nah. that. Yeah. Wait, if I get to fucking fish kiss your cheek. <laughs> and Meg probably, nah, she probably smell mad on, good man. too. Meg definitely smell good. All right, so now let's, he advance, was necking. Now let's advance the conversation to who wins a fight between g Easy and Trey Songs. Why would they be fighting? We do a podcast more. I'm just throwing out hypothetical I'm, I don't know. shit that I don't might know the... be compelling. Because Trey Songs used to be the guy that could pretend finger bang um, her. <laughs> pretend <league>. finger bang. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> just, just rub through the clothes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That used to be Trey's yeah. job. Lolo Rubski. <laughs> you don't remember the fucking year and a half of Trey Songs popping up everywhere? Megan it was Stallion last was? week. Yeah, we mean the year. <laughs> it was, it was last his birthday, right? No, but it was for a year and a half. Yeah. I mean, you don't remember Kev pulling to the Kev. side saying, yeah. Yeah. They're, they're yo, taping. Yo, stop I it. Remember that. They're, they're recording. Stop yeah, this. You, you, you both are doing a lot. Yeah, Kev, Kev wasn't here that night. Uh, we don't know that. That's true. We don't know, we don't way, know I, the, I the fuck, ties. Well, Rory was supposed to be telling me about the outrage from this video because I was unaware. What what outrage? What, what was the problem here? The timeline was Why outrage. Why can't people... Outraged about what? About People always timeline. outraged about yeah, something. Like, well, what are they outraged about? The timeline can't get outraged with shit with me anymore. I'm done. Yeah. I don't care. But what was the, okay? But what yeah, were they I'm saying? I'm outraged every morning. Y'all don't care. <laughs> <laughs> what were they saying though? I don't know. I won't, they uh, they were upset that race relations that that, that Meg uh, has allegedly chosen to be with G Easy. People were mad at her. They, they were upset about it. I, you can't choose who you love. Uh, yeah. I heard G Easy got the good coke. So I don't, I, it makes sense to me if you out to go hang out with him. Yeah, How, how's he told us? <laughs> <laughs> well, he seemed to be having a good time. Yeah, man. He, he had all his work. Out, out of out of every arrest or run in with the cops that G Easy has had, it sounds like he throws a pretty good party. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. All the I artists, all the artists that I, I, that I know that fuck with coke, 
Like, they don't miss a beat when it's time to release a single. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Their singles work. <laughs> Sorry. Get like them. Damn, Yo, screen man, can you take the cat porno off the screen? <laughs> what the fuck is going on in here? Screen man got a little crazy over there. Just no, the time, the, 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 time, the timeline was jokingly yeah. outraged. That's all they were. It was it was some funny memes. I enjoyed it. It's a little too cheesy, man. Yeah. Like Listen, good, I, I believe in I believe in love. So don't let cool. these queens use you for a prop video. That's all I'm nah, saying. No, let them use you. You like to be used? I mean, used and abused. I've been used for a cuddle before. What if she? What if Meg do all that to you, right? And then the next time you see her, she don't even say hi. Whatever. Nah, you gonna cry. Well, it it appears. <laughs> you gonna cry, Maul, it appears to be that yeah. way because G Easy posted all that. He's commenting on all her photos. She ain't replied once. The only reply she said was, "Yo, I ain't fucking him." I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Meg will let you do all that flirting, all that squeezing. I respect it. And she'll see you next week at another event and won't even say hi to you. Nah. I, I, know that oh, look. I can look in that's her my eyes bro. and tell, man. I bet you she's getting Megan getting that off. He, he's probably okay with that. I love I love that though, because I'm that type of dude too though. <laughs> that won't say hi to a girl. Like I could be mad into you one Friday. Mm-hmm. And yeah. That was just no, I'm, that, I'm with you. That was just for that Friday, boo. Like <laughs> I'm off it now. Yeah. I feel you. I've I've, I've done that a time or two. It's my old life. <laughs> I still speak now. I you committing now? I speak. Okay. Hey, did y'all see uh <laughs> uh, apparently G Easy's girlfriend at the time. Put, put, we're really brewing the beer now. Uh, <laughs> apparently G Easy's girlfriend put out a little Snapchat vid. No. Wait, 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 wait. G Easy has a girlfriend. Yes. Right Swag. now, today. Yo, you got come on. Fair. I mean, <laughs> what's happening out here, bro? <laughs> what G Easy doing? Use the thought. Mm. She called him a thought. You have thought cock. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. That's kidding. from the oh, shout out to Berg. She looks like a nice lady too. That's his alleged girlfriend. She looks like the halftime show. She <laughs> 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 looks like Rim. She looks like all of them. <laughs> all of them. You're a tiny. racist. <laughs> yo. <laughs> from from blue eyes to little Spanish girls, yo. You giving it up today? <laughs> Bigot Joe in the house today. Oh, Bigot Joe. Nice. Bigot Joe. I'm a bigot. You are. How you go from being you. a white man to a race? Well, I guess that goes hand in hand. Uh, yeah, you see, it's the layers are peeling themselves away. Because you was white once upon a time. Once upon. Shout it out Viacom and just got. Yeah. All the just way went crazy. Mm. Y'all in this stupid narrative. So, so y'all don't believe y'all don't think anything about this. Y'all don't have a deep dive here. Y'all just gonna laugh. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, if that is his girlfriend, that makes us that makes Listen, us more funny. It's a lot of allegedly. Is. I'm, awesome. I'm, I'm G Easy, and my biggest singles have come from featuring women that rap. Yeah. All right, wife, you gotta chill for a second. Yeah. I gotta get this weird kissing video off. <laughs> I gotta, I, say, I, I gotta feed the crib. This next record. Yeah, well, they probably got a single coming. <laughs> yeah, you know that. You know that. That's how I go now. Let's flirt and then put out a record three days later. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's advance the conversation. Hmm. Is uh, Thought Box by Youngberg the new ladies' night? (laughs) No. No. I like that Berg song, though. I do, too. It's because you were thought. (laughs) I am not. You're a tired thought. (laughs) So? (laughs) No, it's not the new ladies' night. No, I don't know. They all was talking about the same thing every verse. Last time you double booked them all. Oh, it's been it's been a while. It's crazy. I appreciate Joe trying to take us to the next level on this. Yeah, I'm not I, I appreciate bullshit. you. <laughs> yeah, I don't care, man. I don't care about this bullshit. <laughs> I don't care about me. That was fun. It's fun, to, it's fun to talk about. What? It's fun to talk Double about. booking. That's fun to talk about too. Yeah, I need you well, to well, get out well, shell. These guys ain't gonna take it there with me. No, let's uh, do it. Oh, I'm not in. What's the uh, what's, what's the ex- what's the excuse that you've used to get the first appointment out the crew? Work or or have you or have you done? The different locations. Hey, excuse, uh, we're finished, right? <laughs> what excuse? <laughs> we're finished. <laughs> you got the cash app, right? Hey, you got. Oh yeah, I forgot. Is Joe, there, Joe's is, different. I like, I like, like the people I would have sex with. Is there, is, is, is there more? To, and they like me back. Is there more? Is there more to the sex happening? But it depends. That's why on. I get up and make it clear that the sex is finished. Ah. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> ah! You gotta go out. Yo, and have, gotta go out and have a cigarette and just don't man, come back. Gave that my all. <laughs> I have nothing left. <laughs> I have, oh, yo. <laughs> I no. Listen, I know you guys beat up professional boxers. You say, "Yo, bitch, get out of my crib when you're done fucking." Y'all are gods. I'm just a mere mortal over here. <laughs> 
No, we didn't say beat up a professional boxer. <laughs> just said don't be scared. Where are you taking us right now? <laughs> That's what I want to know. It's the end of the road. I know we have to, <laughs> no more. This is I have nothing. Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> That's what you tell them to get out the house. <laughs> I have nothing. I'm done. <laughs> But then you go for the double header. Well, you have to regroup. No, that's when they hit you three days Couple later. Couple glasses of water. They hit you three, oh. day, three days later. Tell me, hey, what you doing? I'm horny. Uh, I'm not. I just seen you. <laughs> <laughs> I just left you the other day. Joe is sick enough. Like, he, he probably don't shower in between the double header, too. So I know uh, you're nasty. Filthy. Same sheet? Sharing mad DNA. Oh, same, wait, same sheet for two? Yeah. Yeah. No, you can do the oh same sheets. Oh, my God. It's oh, <laughs> a different type of animal. Yeah, you put no, you just, you just turn right. them over. Run the, <laughs> <laughs> still, you just flip, you just flip nah. the sheets. Hey, no, you can run the dust buster over the sheets, get the hair up. The dust buster. <laughs> Yo, that is sick and disgusting. No, the, the stain dries up. Back. You just got to flip it over. <laughs> Pull a hair dryer out. Rory, if you flip a wet sheet over, it's still No, wet. but it dries. The stain just... If you flip it, listen, you won't see the stain. Oh you'll see God. the stain. Listen, many, many, <laughs> listen, many, 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 many years All right, fuck ago, on top of the comforter. Many, 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 <laughs> never that. I love the comforter more than you, Ma. <laughs> you ever tried to wash a comforter? No. That's a lot of work. It's ever, tough. It takes a couple days. It does. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see her dur- during the intimacy try to fucking put the blanket somewhere near a pussy? Like, bitch, don't move. Let's not dirty up my fucking white comforter with your pussy juice. <laughs> Now it's just purple. Oh my God, Joe's disgusting. Anyway, many, 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 many years ago, many, many, many years ago, last week, got many it. years, many, many, many years ago, during a double book yeah, this weekend, like the first chick came over and must have broke a nail in the crib. Oh my God, go ahead, keep going. Yeah, you identify, you feel the pain. Right? Go ahead, keep going. And broke a and broke a nail in the crib. Mm-hmm. She left, and I. To swear, I did a thorough examination of everything. Never did. I, I, I'm, Never. I've dog. I've done thorough shit. We're bad at that. Yeah. We just have to admit I we're really bad I at did, thorough though. investigations. Mm-hmm. So wait, so the 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 the, the, uh, the second chick comes over, and as God would have it, <laughs> <laughs> the, the nails on top of the pillow. No, but no. Nah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> saying that I just put God away in the dumbest situation. God had nothing to do with that. <laughs> yes, he did. Leave <laughs> God alone. No, nah, it was God. God was busy. Man, he had nothing that to do whole with that. Room. Yeah. As God would have it. Yeah. Me and Shorty uh, do our thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the process, she breaks a nail, right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Puts her hand up, shows it to you. Why chicks think we care about that? Oh, that broke a nail. So you put her in the same position that she, broke she, the other nail. She looked over to the right. <laughs> like, oh, here it is. This. Oh. That's, <laughs> oh, shit. They this both is not, broke this a nail? Is not my nail. <laughs> oh, my God. And, there, and let me tell you, there's not a lie outside no, of that. No, 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 no. That is when you're just, just take done. It. Just eat right. it. You just got to take it. I'm like, you sure? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> <laughs> nah, this design look, I mean. You try, you try to put yeah, it together sure. like, got a, little, like got a puzzle piece? Nah. Like, nah, this is your ring nail. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, your nail tech tried to freak this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, you can't. Whole you different can't. color. Yeah, nah, it's bad. You just got, you're at their mercy at that point. Yeah, nah, you just got to That's the worst you know place what? to be, at the mercy of a girl and the judge. <laughs> Those two. And the, and the girl might be scarier than the judge, honestly. In certain situations. Share with us. No, it just depends on what the situation is. As long as you ain't facing no jail time for real, it's like whatever. as long as like you're facing a little hit or some spit. Be no. all right. You see, they killed y'all for that too. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Our audience killed us for what? No, no. I figured it out more. Our audience. No, no disrespect to you. To all the audience. To all first. Oh, okay. I don't care if I disrespect them. <laughs> <laughs> no disrespect. So I mean, a little disrespect is coming, mm-hmm. but don't be offended by it. Never. I think that the our part of part of our listenership that adores you so much, I don't think they're bright. Why? Because they haven't been through traumatic relationships. Yes, I was gonna say <laughs> that means they're not bright. <laughs> no, no, no. That means but, they're very not bright. Not because they haven't been through traumatic uh, relationships. I just oh. don't think. I don't think they just understand shit that we be saying. They do. They just said no woman has ever spit on them. But mm. but it, there but, were women. I, saying I saw how they, you replied to those comments. Eh. It was leading. Uh, yeah, it was some gas. <laughs> like, well, it was some gaslighting. Well, myself, Parks, and Rory weren't trying to normalize women spitting on men Mm-mm. or saying they never, were right. Never, they were disrespectful. No, you, 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 were, you were trying we, to normalize it. When I said I could call ninety guys, you was like, I can't. 
and almost 200 people. Even women were like, what type would, of women are y'all dating? That wouldn't make it normal that I think that uh, at least 35% of your 90 is going to share a similar experience. <laughs> no, honestly. I still don't think it's normal to be spit or spat on. No, mm-hmm. it's terrible. But... It happens oh, more no, I didn't often see, yeah. than I think you let no, on. I don't think it happens. Like That's that it. Much. No, no, y'all was definitely trying to make it seem like I was bugging and that was a normal thing. That's exactly what y'all were talking. No, about. I think you're bugging that you don't see that happening. No, I didn't say I didn't. <laughs> I don't see it happening. I was just saying, or that more than y'all was saying it. Like, yeah, duh. Like, yeah, it happens. I'm like, that's not a normal thing. And then y'all were trying to say like it was. It happens. Like it's a normal thing. That's all I was saying. Like that's not normal. I don't mean this in in a disrespectful I've been way. Stabbed way. by a woman. <laughs> yeah, spit, talk, spit is we, a nice we're thing. We're talking about spit right now. <laughs> like, yeah, but the, both of those are still like a lot of people have never been through no shit like that. That's all I'm saying. Like yeah, we can't say that because something happens to you. Okay, y'all, but let me put it this way: I don't think it should have been painted as a respect level to some degree. It is. That's all it is. Somebody spits no. on you, they have no respect for you. That's like that's the highest true. level of true. disrespect. That's, that's not true. What that's is not true? What is what is Okay, let's take it to this. Remember when that whole Jay, Beyonce, Solange thing happened, right? Mm. right? Whatever it was about, we have no idea. We can speculate, right? In that moment of Solange being pissed and hitting Jay and kicking at him and all of that, right? It was a whole disrespectful thing. The one thing she, I guarantee you, she never thought about in that moment was spitting on Jay. Because that, that may not be her sauce and maybe and Solange not, is a respectable person. It's not about that. Here we go. <laughs> Respect. No, no, no. This is what I'm trying to tell you. She you respects, having disrespect she and respects, respecting me are two totally different no, 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 things. No, no, no. You just not a, a bright person. No, no, I've no, no, dated no, no. not bright women. Listen, okay. So this is what I'm trying <laughs> so to tell you. So they've spit on me. So and you've dated women that don't respect themselves and or don't respect that's, you. That's what I'm. No, they would still respect. Me. They just don't respect themselves. Uh, so if a person sucks. spits on you, they don't. They don't respect you. Let me just put that out there. I'm older than you. Trust me on this one. If somebody spits on you, they have no respect for you. They have no respect for you. They have no fear. You. They have no fear of repercussions. They don't respect That's, you. People have done plenty of things that feared you just out of pure emotion and immaturity. No, a person will never spit on you. So I know. Fear. I know what you saying spit, if someone spits never. on you that uh, they don't respect you sounds like a really good idea. And I, I want to say I agree with you, but. Some women, some people, some people are extremely immature and they get really emotional and they don't know how to take those emotions and express them. Don't so when they, they so when they be. flip out, they do things they wouldn't even agree with. Okay, yeah. now wait, me, wait, wait, before you, before you so say they what could you're respect saying, me. Let me just jump in and say, and that just in what both of you gentlemen explained is why I agree with both of you. The chick that is doing the spit, if you spit at me, trust and believe. This will be the last time I am leaving Facts. this saying that's a fact. You I, have zero respect for me. Yeah. I think that that I but I agree with Rory where I don't necessarily think the girl in every instance was thinking that way. Yeah. There's, I'm always leaving saying that. I'm done. No, no. If you spit, I'm done. And that's been the case you in my will life. You'll never but, hear from <laughs> me again after that move. Hey, and if you didn't know it. I will be the person to teach you that that is not how you treat a man. Let me and okay, a person. I, and I understand what both of y'all are saying, but let me say this: if a person spits on you, I don't care how mad the state of mind in for that thought to even enter their head, they do not respect you. That's period. I don't think because a, I've I don't seen think a plenty of situations where it was I think, drama I think and anger was, and immaturity did, and they didn't know how to express alcohol. those feelings. No, and it happened. No. Spit? No, 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 no. You could swing and all of that shit. Yeah, that's you know. Whatever, whatever you do shows that you haven't learned how to properly deal with whatever is on your plate right now, and that's from your household, how you were raised, your parents. It's just a lot. How, how First you, of all, how you've been accustomed to problem solving. If you come from a home where all you ever seen your parents do is fight, and your mom spit, kick, punch, swing at your dad, and your dad do whatever was going on, that may be all you know. So you may be right. You, it, the result is you're not respecting me, but the exact nature here is you don't respect yourself. But that's what I said. Respect. It comes down to respect. They don't respect yeah, but themselves. You said it like it was an indictment against the man. No, no, every no, time. And no, I, no, no. I, I said, don't feel like that. No, no, no. I said, I said they either don't. They don't respect themselves, and or they don't respect you. Bottom line. That's all. But it all stems from a level of disrespect. That is the highest level of disrespect. Yeah, and I and I'm honestly I'm not uh, disagreeing with you. I just think there's a a bunch of layers the to the behavior. You could burn yeah. your house on fire while you're inside of it. No, yeah, she can go deeper. 
That's 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 different. That's not that has that's rage. That's not. I mean, disrespect. No, it can come from rage too. Yo, if a woman stands in front yo, of you and spits at, and spits at you, Ma, she she doesn't respect you. More the only time you said that. Already, Bottom line, but the the only this is the only part I get mad at you. I watch the news every morning, and it, without fail, a couple is there's dan- dangerous activity happening between a couple every morning. Every but that's m- because there's no respect between those two. Oh no, I know. The now, respect now, is gone. Now I'm only arguing that there is worse shit that can go on from lack of respect outside of spinning. Yeah. No, I don't think so. To me, somebody spitting on you is the highest level of disrespect. And and when well, will you admit that you have a limited scope? That on certain things, yeah. Okay, on respect, because because no. I think when you got get it. that invested with somebody, and maybe you feel disrespected on their actions, you'll reply with what you think is disrespect too. Women know who they can, can and can't spit on. Okay, how about this, you guys? I want to go and throw clothes on the floor in Kanye's house. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? And I can't be alone. It's a nice house. Why do you want to throw clothes on the floor? <laughs> let's go. I, I watched this. Let's go and scuff up some of those walls. <laughs> oh, it's too clean for you? It's, it's pretty clean. Is that the word y'all use? Clean? Uh, it wouldn't be an ideal place to throw a house party with blue jeans on. <laughs> it is very clean. Mm-hmm. It's super clean. It's just bare. It's bare. Oh, it's like empty. It's called, put, minim- put it's some, called minimalistic, it's, Joe. Um, it's called no, minimalistic. No, you white, just don't no, understand it. White people can't now take broke, broke shit and make it rich. No, broke people don't have furniture in their house. Y'all can't take it and make it elitist now. Fam, you took oh, he five his... photos from uh, what were they at? Our D- something digest. I'm broke. What is this? Oh, he wants his. He's trying to have his home look. like I don't a read this. He's trying like to have his gallery. home look like a psych ward, like an art gallery or a psych ward. Or or they colored the video that way. You wasn't there. Mm. <laughs> like what are you t- what are you talking about? I want. You've I'm, never done a white balance on a camera, I'm, Erickson. I'm, help me out here. I'm like they could have fucked it up. <laughs> I'm dying to go just. Pencil all over that shit. <laughs> That'll really fucking. No, the the funny thing was the way North was acting as a cute kid that she is. I was like, them kids gotta ruin all that white shit. Yeah, word. <laughs> oh no, trust and believe they know which room not to go in. They must have a room. Well, that was kind of my point to Joe. I, I think I think they showed the cooler. Yeah, this was the, the lip, cooler yeah. portions of their house. Yeah, no one goes in there. <laughs> These are the rooms that the kids know we can't yeah. go over there. Uh, there's a lock on the door. Yeah, they know that. They shit is it's, it's shit all over the place in the kids in the kids room. <laughs> Their crib is dope though. Uh, Kim talking about we had, when I saw it. As soon as I saw it, I knew it was my dream house. <laughs> yeah. Just an empty white house. No, they saw it from the outside when they were walking past, and you know you can always see the mansions when you walk down the street in L.A. They're never covered by trees. I don't know that because I'm not Hollywood. <laughs> I'm being sarcastic. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's like a gallery. Don't have a jacuzzi. Can you believe that? Can you I believe like this part. don't have a jacuzzi? <laughs> <laughs> I know we don't have a jacuzzi. Can that was the funniest part of that little segment. Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? Kanye said that? Can you believe that? Can you believe we don't have a jacuzzi? That's not Kanye, man. So who did that voice? So no, 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 no. He, he was, he, I don't want to say mocking his wife. Yo, every he time was, I bring more some good that Kanye shit, he no, tells that me just it's just not Kanye. That sounds like a voiceover. That Talk, was a show. Come on, man. Call him right now. Email him. Fax him. Mo, I'll tell you what happened in the interview I watched it. She was saying they at the it was one of those weird, easy variety type pieces of when was the last time you used the pool? And Kim was like, I've never used the pool. Like I wanted a jacuzzi, but we don't have one. And then Kanye, not the way you mock your girlfriend or okay, your wife, right. was you saying, go. I can't believe you don't have a jacuzzi. Okay, there you yeah, go. he was all he right. was making fun of what Kim said. Got you. Okay. What needs to happen for y'all to get in your bath bag with a girl? If I was Kanye, that's I my bag. Jacuzzi. The the bath got the tub got to be big enough. Yeah. No, it don't. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get in no small tub with a girl. What? I'm right on Bergen <laughs> Avenue, Jersey City, in that tub. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sick of them all. They gotta be big enough. No, man. it don't. It does for sit me. right on getting, top yeah, of me. You gotta, it gotta be enough tall. room. More, you are five six. <laughs> but it gotta be enough room. <laughs> how, how big does it need it to be? be how big do they make them in the Bronx? <laughs> it gotta be enough room. You can't get into a little ass bathtub with a girl. Yes, d- that's my that's swag. Oh man. No. Okay, let's not argue about that. What other, uh, what other factors need to be present for you to get in your, your bathtub bag 
with a chick. You got a big enough bath. Mm -hmm. How does the night need to be going for you to say, you know what? Tonight is the night. She looks stressed. Let lavender Epsom salt it is. Mm. Soap soap on your back. Mm -hmm. Wash it, wash it for you. I'll do that every night. Why not? See? Not much. But it's not easy to find a big bathtub like Yeah, that. not much. You just got to have <laughs> a, a nice size bag? tub. Because sometimes that's just, a, that's just to kick it. It was just, just getting a tub tonight. That's, that's, the, first, the, first, that's the first date? <laughs> no, <Nah>, not first <laughs> date. <laughs> Fuck a vacation. Let's get in the tub. Well, what, do you, what do you do after the bath, though? Is it, is it Dry uh, off. Is sexy time? Sexy time. I would, yeah, I would believe so. I would believe it's about that time. <laughs> no. Okay, but some bathrooms are. See, I'm too. I feel too good now to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> a little too relaxed. Yeah. Hey, I'm, hey, I'm going to sleep. I'm all hey, jelly, hey, baby. I can't yeah. do it. The bath worked for me. Oh, sometimes you don't. Sometimes <laughs> it should have fucked and then did the bath. Sorry. Uh, no, nah, sometimes yeah. it happens in the tub. That's another. That's another way to look. You don't at want it. them Epsom salts yeah, in true. there. My dick ain't the strongest in the tub. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I would. I would encourage and, you to and go with shower sex and, and bathtub sex of the shower size is not. Good. I really and not, and not even my dick. Let me not do that. I got to be really into you for my dick to fight the current. <laughs> the current, yeah, <laughs> for real. No, it's, it's a splash. It's, it's you versus oh yeah, it's a gravity splash. and shit. And the water only goes up <laughs> into your face. That remind me of that Benzino video when he was smashing in the bathtub. I don't think I'm I, sorry, I, don't think I saw that one. Uh, enlighten us. Y'all seen that Benzino? I, know, sex no, I did not see Benzino smash. Nah, up. my word. Nah, you saw the Benzino <laughs> sex tape, bro. Wait, what will get? What can I say to make you believe? Now, nah, word is bond. Y'all never yeah. saw the Benzino word sex tape. Word of my up. mother. Yo, on my yeah. grandmoms. Oh, <laughs> like what does more? <laughs> that shit is old. That was back in like yeah, two thousand. That's when you still at the source. No, no, no. I wasn't. That. This was right like after Love and Hip Hop, like the first season he was in. Yeah, I was. This is the Almighty. And that's what Almighty they were saying. They was like, "Nigga, that water was all over the place." Mo. I don't believe y'all remember that. I was born in 1990, Mo. I wasn't around for this. <laughs> Mo, you was on Twitter for this. What are you talking about? So yeah, Mo, I didn't YouTube the Benzino shower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, wait, yeah, Benzino did what? <laughs> <laughs> y'all don't remember that? Nah, no, I did. I don't. I'm not even trying to like clown you. I, I really don't know. It was like, in the hip hop. No, it was in a tub. It was like a, a tape that he recorded with a, with a girl of his. And, oh, and I remember that. It was in the tub. Oh yeah, and well, niggas was killing my. Like, yeah, that tub was wild, small. Y'all. I remember the Mimi all one. The water out the tub. I remember her hanging onto a shower curtain. No, 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 no. no. This was way before that. This oh, was okay. years before that. Yeah, yeah. They killed Benzino on Twitter for this. <laughs> <laughs> I recently tried to pull off the bathtub shit, but I was trying to be smooth. Like you run it, I'll go get. <laughs> Get comfy or something. Bullshit. Get comfy. <laughs> Let me slip into something more comfortable. <laughs> Put on swim trunks. <laughs> Yo, Joe getting in a bathtub with swim, swim trunks. <laughs> you put on swim trunks to get in a tub, my nigga. Don't do that. Don't with the with the sailor emblem. Yeah, yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't get. In the you got in your quicksilver swim, swim trunks. Let me go slip into something more comfortable, <laughs> nigga. Yeah, how come that. every time I try to share something with y'all, y'all just laugh? <laughs> We're just speculating on your story. But y'all, why? Uh, when are y'all gonna come in here and share anything? We share anything. Things. We share anything. We share. we share. What do you share? We just shared our stories. Mullen Parks just said, "Nah, if I get a big bath, you're in the Bronx and Queens. You're yeah. not getting a big bath. That's not true. I just said I was on Bergen Avenue in Jersey." City in the bathtub. I said that's what it's I'm gonna take for me to get I, I, it. I can't fit in a bathtub myself. Joe don't, Joe don't understand anyway, that, bro. You need space in a bathtub. You need space. You can't be in a small bathtub trying to get sexy. That's that's, that's hard enough taking a shower with my girl. Like yeah, a bath. You need space, happening. bro. You need space. That's very key. Very key. Room. Yeah. But in the event that you do have space, yeah, get I still want to hear about your uh, little. I, I know, I know, space, everyone in this oh, room no, no, has no. fucked on a single bed before. Now y'all can't get in a bathtub. Yeah, that's way bigger than a bathtub. No, you, you can, <laughs> but you would rather not. Is what I'm saying. I didn't want to fuck on a single bed, but that's what I had. A yeah. twin <laughs> bed is way different than a bathtub. <laughs> way different. I'm talking about a single. You can do bed. some things on a twin. <laughs> yeah. Look at Marlon Parks being the bougie boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Only like, fuck on the California. I ain't gonna act like I have, in I, California, I never, of course, I've had sex on a twin bed before. Like, of course, but I, but I do it now. If I didn't have the, if I had options, no. Yeah. Now it's I have the options. That's the only thing. If you have options, no, get a bigger tub. <laughs> or wait till the bigger tub is available. Or just to go in the bed. Because it's overrated, hey, I ain't honestly. Gonna lie, Roy. I think this is a good time for you to ask, ask more that question. Man. Oh, I was going to earlier. Yeah, but get that nigga now. <laughs> oh, you got a question for me? I love questions. Oh, I don't know. I mean, Roy ain't even talk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I would this love. Is off the head, fam. Okay. I would love to uh, respectfully okay. bring a therapist for an episode to talk. To me? Specifically, I go to therapy, so 
her and I would talk about the same thing we would talk about off air. Mm-hmm. I would like for her to talk to you. About what? Life. You want your therapist to talk to me about life? Mm-hmm. Okay, sure. I'm game. I think it would be a good episode. Okay, I'm game. Yeah. We'll yeah, do life, we'll do relationships, we'll do, we'll get to the bottom of everything. Is your therapist a, a white lady or a black? She's a black woman. Black woman? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do it. Joe actually introduced me to her. Whoa, see, just that fast. <laughs> oh my God. Just that fast. This is I got Joe's therapist? No. <laughs> we need a just new therapist. Just that fast, I got brought into the mix. We, we need a new therapist. Everything You're on this was, podcast. It's everything your name. was going so lovely. Yeah, no, we need a new therapist. No, she's great. Joe's therapist? No, absolutely not. Have you met Joe's therapist? No. <laughs> so what's the problem? I just don't want to sit with a therapist that's been with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be escalated. It's, 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 millions, of, it's millions of therapists out here. We can find a therapist. But I like her. Okay. That's fine. But it's, this is Rory's therapist. This is not Joe's therapist right now. Joe hasn't said a word during this exchange. No, but she's she's given you therapy before? She has seen me before, okay, yes. Okay, yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. That's actually smart. Yeah, no, we need a we need a new therapist. How is that smart? Yeah, we get if we get a new therapist. You think Joe has talked about you in the sessions? Oh no, I don't. I wasn't even thinking about that. I have. I'm just saying. Oh. I, I, I would want. I would want a therapist. I would actually rather a therapist that's never been with any of us. Okay. I'd like. To, I can find one of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. But you are open to the idea of it. It's just a conversation. Yeah. I'm yeah. Not, I'm, we we don't have to use mine. Well, that's what I told Parks when he said that'll get to the bottom of whatever's festering. <laughs> with who me? Look, I don't know. I didn't say that. <laughs> Why do you think something is festering with me? Ask Parks. Yeah. You're signs of me? Your signs. Your signs. Because why? Because I'm single? That is crazy that y'all think that I have something no, festering because well, I, I just like no, you being have, single. No, you have something festering. What do I have festering? I don't know. And I'm by the way, there's, there's y'all, nothing wrong. Not okay, so, yeah, so no, so and that's okay. Okay, so listen. Whoa, calm we, down, bro. Look, so listen. Whoa, so listen. Whoa. listen. Whoa. No, no, no. I'm not. Listen. Aggressive. So let's do this. Let's do this. So if I sit, so if we sit with this therapist and y'all think that there's something festering, and the therapist like, no, he's just he's aware of who he is and he's comfortable with who he is and he, nothing festering. Will leave Mo, well, that, leave about your that will do it for y'all. Yeah. This 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 random woman to just come in and talk to me. That will do it for y'all. Yeah, well, are you going to really be opinion. honest with her, though? <laughs> I need a second opinion. Of course. I'm honest with y'all. Y'all think that I'm just... split decision, we're going to need a third. I don't think you're not being honest with us. I just think there's more I think to that, it. I think that y'all just can't understand. You're not, you're not lying to us to no, any degree. I, I just think there's more yeah, to it. No, there's nothing to it. I really just honestly love being single. I don't know why that, that that's such like a mind-blowing thing to y'all. I love being single. I love being able to get up and go as I please and not have to ask, you know, oh, I got to go here for the weekend. And you like that show fun. the door open. Yeah, like I like to do my own what? thing. That's I do, all. There's I've nothing been doing that But don't get it twisted. I do want eventually a family and a wife and shit like that. But right now, no, nah, I'm living my life. I'm chilling. No, no. No, you. Nah. No, I don't think we've no. ever said you wanting to be single is weird. Yeah, no, nah, bro. I think that's but weird that seems to be like the, the thing that y'all think it stems from. Like, why am I single? Why do I? Because I just, I wasn't, I haven't been single for like 20 years. No. Oh, that's what I thought. I've been single for like the past like five years. So I don't I don't I don't understand what the big like I, people as are parts. single. <laughs> as as parts. Yeah, that's just I don't because, I don't know why y'all really feel like that. Because me and Rory might say that something's festering. For you to say yeah, it's there means this there. I, I said it's there. <laughs> no, Park no, said it's there. But what do y'all think is festering? I don't let's, know. Let's, talk, let's say that. I wouldn't. Know. I don't know. I, I, I want to. I want to be there for you regardless of what it is. So of course, if you have any, there's to talk, nothing there. I'll take it deeper. Maybe you don't know. Mm. I know me very well. <laughs> I know me to the core. There's nothing there. I just enjoy being like I got. Some people got to be in a relationship. I'm you not one. Of, not I don't. No, I don't have to be in a relationship. I don't have to be. That's just the only thing. It's just that some people have to be. I don't have to be. I'm comfortable. With being I, well, that's not what I think. Is, and don't get it twisted. Wrong. I have female friends. I have. And the therapist will point that out. That. <laughs> He's the one that keeps bringing up this relationship. I, yeah, I don't think that at because all. Because that's what y'all wanting that's to be single. I don't said. think it's weird at all. No, we're doing about the May splits. <laughs> <laughs> about the what? Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, no, but that seems to be what y'all keep thinking. Why it's something festering? Like, I don't get it. But whatever, I'm, I'm game. I think it'd be a good episode. Yeah, it's big yeah I'm game. Let's do it. And then immediately after, we'll do the shroom episode. Yes. And then we'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm game. I'm, I'm always definitely listening. Listening. All this sounds great Well we have to get this done Before Maul Relocates to Charlotte Which is where I hear He's going I'm sorry I'm going to Charlotte <laughs> What yeah. Why would I be going to Charlotte 
Because I, I might go with him. Because Julius, I like North Carolina. Because Julius Randle's going to Charlotte. Is he? I didn't know about that. I didn't hear about that. He didn't Did, tell you. These trade rooms? Yeah. <sighs> nah, I don't think he's going anywhere. Well, that's a great segue for your insider trade deadline review. Give it to us. What's happening? Speculations, but I think I think a lot of teams will make a move. I'm hearing that the Lakers are giving JR a workout. I don't think they're going to sign him, though. Remember where you guys heard it first. A lot of teams are going to make a move. Mm. Yeah. You mean before the trade deadline on Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> you don't say it. Right, it's going to the Lakers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> take that. I think, take I, that, Barstool. <laughs> I, think, uh, I think Philly Bar-stool. needs to make a move, though. <laughs> Bill Simmons, take, <laughs> take a break this week. Ball's got it. Yeah. <laughs> How woge. Yeah. I think Philly Philly is the one team that the has Barstool to make is a move. hilarious. <laughs> Philly the one team that what? They have to make a move. They have to. That shit, I don't know what's going on over there, but something has to happen. They should be a way better team than what they are with that talent, but I think people don't like each other and they don't want to say it, but... Somebody got it. Go. Philly has been picked to win the finals for the past four years, and Facts. <laughs> nothing has happened. That's Anyways, what I'm let's because this has been too much of a sports podcast. Two, yo, come on, man. Two of your booze is beefing now. Who? Russ and Post Malone. Oh, okay. Mm. Defend it. Whose side are you gonna take? Them both. For the listeners that don't know, Russ said, and I'm paraphrasing and gaslighting. <laughs> Tell us what Russ said, Rory. <laughs> Break the news. <laughs> When being asked about being a culture vulture, he said, well, Post Malone came out with braids and being Allen Iverson and looked biracial, and then he put on cowboy boots and a cowboy hat. You make the call. <laughs> so, so his defense of being a culture vulture was calling someone else a culture vulture? I'm, uh, this is a bad paraphrase. Oh, okay. It was a good conversation, and, and he wasn't really shooting at him. I'm what just, was that? That was on uh, It's Real? No, some other... Something Elliot some, did. Uh, <laughs> some other thing. <laughs> hey, Elliot. <laughs> it wasn't on Elliot's hey, you thing. You got to run out of niggas to talk to by March. <laughs> you <laughs> you got to space these things better, out. You better slow down. <laughs> <laughs> he is serving them up. Anyway, uh, why can't Post Malone be a culture vulture and be dope? Oh, I don't know if that... Is that ever a thing? We've Being never a dope culture that. vulture? We just, we yeah, just dope culture angry vultures. when the guy's a culture vulture. That's a good point. Like, all right, he's a culture vulture. Got it. All right, well, let me let me really quote him so it's not like I'm um, bullshitting here. No, I mean, that's a fair example because I do think that's an interesting thing to look at from the lens of where you came in with braids and golds to the point people think you're mixed and now, you know, you drink Bud Light and wear cowboy boots and stuff. I don't think that Post is a culture vulture. Well, I well, why, well, why I not? I understand what Russ is trying to allude to. I do too, and I like, I like Post music. Russ but, is hating uh, but I'm not going to say that that's because he came in with a certain look and now he cut his hair that he's a culture. I'm not going to say that. That to me, that's. Can you hate on a culture vulture? Sure. Can you hate on a culture Yeah, yeah you can. can. hate on right. not a culture exactly. vulture. <laughs> you can hate and on I'll anything you, you want to hate on. I'm not really a Post Malone fan per se, but I don't think he's a culture vulture. You can the opposite of hate. Okay, so when you do that and then downplay rappers' lyrics and the meaning behind them and then move on to put on a cowboy hat, then what are you, Parks? I don't know. Maul, did you buy the Yummy Remix? <laughs> <laughs> and if you did, was it Yummy? <laughs> no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I buy the Yummy Remix? <laughs> you went and bought it? <laughs> I need that. Yeah. <laughs> no. Definitely didn't buy the Yummy Remix. Yo, I come here with and ask thought-provoking questions. Did y'all just... <laughs> that was thought-provoking? Yes. <laughs> you thought that was thought-provoking? Yes. Did Maul buy the Yummy Remix? No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't even hear it, actually. No, yes, you did. You heard I, it. I promise you, you I did. Oh. Everything. You heard everything with something. I heard Chance's album. <laughs> well, look at that. that. Now we got some content. <laughs> now we pod now. About See, time we got a review. See, See, fine, fine, finally. What do you think? Take it away, Roar. Get ready for the All safe right. button, Joe. Find it. Oh, no, no. Find the safe button. Comes up firing. Here's the throw. Comes up. Comes up. Comes Comes up firing. Here's the throw to the plate. And he is. Comes up firing. Here's the throw to the plate. And he is. Safe at the plate. We will have a challenge. Or will we? I'm going to I'm gonna do the opposite opposite of Joe here. I'm going to start with hate. I'm going to start with hate. That lets When you do that, it lets them know where you're going to end up. Yeah. Oh, no. We're coming to love. We're coming to love. 
Uh, it's way too fucking long, and there's mad records that sound the same that you could have just canceled out. Like, we didn't need this record three times. Uh, but you guys owe Chance the Rapper a fucking apology. That album is not that fucking bad. He has two records and a half that talk about his wife. Like, I thought the meme shit was funny, too. You guys owe him an apology. That album's not that bad. That album is not that fucking bad. It's way too long. There's way too many features. He doubled up on a bunch of records that we could have cut down. But that album's not that terrible. Y'all made it sound like it was the worst album ever. That shit is not that bad. You fuck with the hot shower shit? No. All the <laughs> all the singles he tried to do, I was like, fam. The the Dirk record, the Meg shit was all right. Gucci shit was all right. Y'all, um, y'all ever put your phone in the shower to talk to a girl? No. <laughs> no. Sounds dangerous. You never risked your life to talk to a girl? Yeah, but what? in different yeah. ways. Been in mad project buildings. I shouldn't have yeah, been in there. <laughs> walk past them 30 niggas in front of her. That's regular shit. In front of her building, yeah. Got it. Yeah. But not my phone. Definitely been, my phone. been to 3B way more, way more times than I should have. Uh, but yeah, y'all owe a chance and apology. I understand that the timeline took it and ran with the jokes. I thought they were funny too. That album's not that bad. Sorry, guys. Okay. And that's not the safe answer because the safe answer is that it's trash because that's what everyone said. So you took the unsafe answer. Mm. You the took safe, the, unsafe. You took the risky road. The risky road. <laughs> the risky chance road. You took the condom off. <laughs> With chance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gave chance a chance. <laughs> while we're while while we're on music, I meant to ask you guys last podcast to predict uh Wayne's numbers. Uh, I don't know. I, I know these slated to go number one. Did you ask us that? I no, I didn't. You said oh, okay. meant to. Oh, I'm I said sorry. I meant to. I'm sorry. And I think now it, it came back. He's projected uh, anywhere between 100 and 125 grand. Mm. Copies moved. How do y'all feel about that? I like Sounds it. about right. Yeah. I like it. I'm, yeah. I'm with that. Funny thing is, I probably would have went higher. I might have said 150. Mm, yeah, especially with 24 songs. Yeah. That's respectable, right? Yeah. yeah. Very well, respectable. Not bad. Hell yeah. That's really age. good numbers. Yeah. With no promotion, no video, nothing. What do you guys think about Wayne saying he has no idea how the beef between him and Pusha started? I totally believe him. I think Wayne, he said he doesn't <laughs> and he know what that, anything is going on. He said that on Drink Champs. Yeah. That, believe, whole, that whole shit, he was on some, I, I, oh, could, I don't know. I don't know. I could believe that. We don't even know. From my, my understanding, it's over Bape. I'm sorry? The clothing line. <laughs> Who wore it first? <laughs> that's, that's what my that understanding is. That can't be the beginning. That's I, believe I, said, I believe that Wayne don't know. I never... I never did I ask Push that? I don't remember. When we had him? I think I did, right? I forgot what he said if, if I did ask him. But yeah, I, 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 there was never a clear definitive reason why yeah. why, why it happened. So I, I can believe... Released to the public. Released to the public. True. So I can believe so what Wayne's saying. So y'all are taking Wayne at his word. Yeah, I'm taking Wayne at his word of not knowing because I don't think... I personally just don't think... I'm that's taking even Wayne Wayne's at his head word because Wayne is somebody who I think if he knew he would say it like yeah he mad because whatever whatever like i don't think wayne is playing the media game of me either. i'm not gonna say why this beef started like i think wayne would say exactly what happened and, he seems and, to live in his own world in a good way yeah and on top of that i agree parks i'll also say what well, we won't say wayne has done a lot of fucking drugs in his life i'm sure he doesn't remember also true <laughs> i'm sure that push i'm sure push has a legitimate pusher reason but i don't think wayne remembers that's fair yeah. Did, did Push respond to that? Not yet. No, I don't think so. A bunch of laughing emojis? Not yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Not yet. Do you think he will? I think he should. If whatever yeah. the, the beef was about is... We need new beefs. We yeah. do need new beefs. No. I think I think beefs, the way they play out now, is super corny. Exodus came out in what year? 2012? But I don't think it would go like that. 2011? Though. Something like that. Yeah, Tom's. I don't. Name. I don't need closure on this beef. I need a different beef. Uh, yeah, I'm between with you. them. No, no, just a whole. Between, new, oh, that's what I'm saying. Between a whole them, new I'm rap beef. I want this shit to. What was the reason behind it? I would like to know, honestly. No, I like the veterans moving like veterans and allowing the younger people to do whatever it is they're doing. Because sometimes when you find out why beefs happen and why they started, that says a lot about the people that are in the beef. Yeah, or how serious it really is to begin with. Yeah, like wait, yeah, that started because of that. Then you look at the person. If like, it was over Bape, then yeah. A <laughs> Wayne and a Wayne and Push beef has always been interesting to me because because of what I know of the both of them, which is they are both men of a lot of integrity. 
for sure. Yeah. Typically, the in- integrity washes out the other the other person's integrity and everything's peace. Or we both are so strong in this attribute that we beef. <laughs> right. I just can't understand how so much integrity led to so long standing of such long standing of a beef. That's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I get it. Did you guys hear Nas featuring Nas? I did, I did. hear it. They did it at the Grammys. Whoa, so why didn't you guys say anything about it? It was on my list. We didn't get to it uh, whatever week that well, was. Well, let's get to it right now, buddy. Is that right. a Percocet chain Wayne had on? I, didn't want to, I was going to say it off mic, Mo, but uh, <laughs> that was as soon as we broke, I was going to ask if you guys saw the Percocet chain. Oh, no, I'm not jacking. Well, Rory hit the group chat and said, you guys, did you see Cuddy's new chain? <laughs> I did not hit the, gr- the group chat and said, "Did you see Cuddy's yeah, that's new what we're chat?" About the group chat. That's, <laughs> that's what Rory talks about. You know, Rory the Cuddy kid, a Cuddy kid. That's funny, you guys. You know, Cuddy designed that chain all on his own. It's a good chain. I didn't see his chain. It's a really good chain. But no, I did not go in the group chat and say, "Yo, did you see Cuddy's chain?" <laughs> okay, well, give us some Nas and Nas reaction. Uh. I'm gonna be that guy here. Not Nero. I, not Nas, the real Nas. You don't need to be doing that. He had a, he had one number one single. I know it's the biggest record ever by whatever streaming numbers. I don't. He don't deserve a Nas look. Nas shouldn't be on stage with him. Y'all can call this hating, but no. I think Nas. You 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 caught uh, you caught a really really big single. Mad artists have done that. You're not allowed to be on stage with Nas. I think Nas is trying to. Uh, give his blessings to the younger artists for better or worse I think he is too I just don't think it should go to someone that just has a, a single he has his name also so but I think that's why that you know that no I get the marketing right I just I don't I'm cool I'm not buying it I'm cool mad, mad new artists deserve a Nas record and it's not him valid so Some old rappers deserve a Nas verse <laughs> <laughs> people still waiting on a Nas verse yeah, Royce yeah the 5'9 I, deserves a Nas, <laughs> Nas verse I would love to hear that uh, I I just don't think, yeah. It just it, I'm cool. I'm cool on it. Yeah, y'all are quiet, tell, so I'll you be the just one. Tell him with some shit. He didn't sound just, bad on it, but no, it, it, it sounded fine. But that's yeah. not really my point. I just come on. It sounds like a scooter bra idea. Yes, <laughs> it just sounds like an idea from somebody who. No. You know what? You know what? To me, makes collabs dope when you could honestly see the artists that are collabing like they really would fuck with each other. Away from just the music, like they yeah. would actually be caught hanging out, just it, kicking it, it, it together. Like it comes out on record too. Yeah, like, like you, you can hear it. That. Yeah, and Nas and Nas X would never be eating a slice in New York City, chilling somewhere. It wouldn't happen. So that's why I don't. The music to me is just an extension of the. I, I just think more more resume wise. Like I have no issue with Lil Nas X. I like the Old Town Road shit. I get all that. It's cool. I fuck with them, but I just don't. I don't know. Maybe it's the Hip hop in me that yeah, just I just don't is. think he no just he the, needs a Nas verse like the you best. have one you have one record it was the biggest record ever cool I'm with you I I, I support you you just don't don't the follow biggest, up with a Nas verse the biggest the best the biggest and best collabs happen usually it's an extension of the relationship if they want to work with each other yeah. I don't even think There's Lil no Nas X really wanted to work with Nas you know what that's that's my new shit that I'm on for the rest of the year that's how hurt I am at what the fans said about me. So my question about everybody that we bring up now, just randomly ask it. Do y'all think that Little Nas X has his pub? Uh, some of it, not all of it. Probably around the same 50%. Yeah, probably same imagine. as Mace. Got it. I would imagine. Y'all think Nas had all his pub? He's, he's, he's been very vocal about yeah. not having it. Search. Got it. Joe, we get it. Those search, those, those instant, search did a, a pretty good deal with Nas, to, I just, I, from my understanding. I just think that people just didn't like your... Uh, your your stance on it when it came to Puff. That's no. one. That's one. And further than that, I don't think the people really understand oh, all that not. goes into these of course pub not. royalties and split conversations. Of course not. But that's, that's why how most that's how most of us get robbed in the first place. Because Absolutely. they don't teach this in school. Your parents are not going to teach it to you, and the person that's doing business won't teach it to you. Joe, they don't teach us taxes in public school. Think right. they're going to teach you pub? <laughs> Yeah, and for some reason, I wasn't, you know what? I wasn't bringing my contracts back to my mom for her to look over because she wouldn't have understood them either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. Like the not truth of the matter is, a lot of artists got to go out and make the first mistake, the first few mistakes on their own, which is how you learn, which is how you know 
how to rectify shit. Actually, Maul, that's actually part of my beef. Uh, not beef. Let me not use that word uh, so people think I'm caping again. But that was part of my argument with Mace. How most artists are able to get their pub back or the other side of their pub that they got rid of or sold or whatever is they have to work themselves to that position. We all get fucked in the front. And if you work hard enough and have that great a rela- relationship with whoever owns the pub, then you can get your shit back. I think, I think, but hold up, hold on. Let me finish. Mm-hmm. Mace left. Mm-hmm. That is to be accounted for in Joe's book. Mm-hmm. Mace promised an album mm-hmm. on the same caliber as fucking Harlem World and dipped. And niggas learned about it on the air. That is not presenting the best possible scenario to argue getting your shit back. For, and again, I don't have no details on this. I ain't spoke to nobody about it. Mm-hmm. But in my experience, that's how that goes. Future and these, these niggas fucking do whole deals without their pub. And at the end of it, once they've won, because you have to win, yeah. you leverage it back. The same way you leveraged I, it off. I understand. I'll also think, add that uh, we may not, if he doesn't agree to a 50-50 pub dealer, whatever it was, or giving up a portion of the pub, we may never get Mace. You understand? Like, a, a lot that, of people will, hey, but oh, that, you want half your pub? Or, or you want your whole that, 100%? That's how I started. But that's how I started the convo last week, and I got killed. I swear maybe I articulated myself wrong and people didn't understand. But I started this with, hey, if if at the begin before Harlem World comes out, if those two artists, creators, sit down and have a pub split talk, I think it's going to end just that way, 50-50. Yeah, but I think that the, the, the big issue was people felt like... People you, felt like, you weren't people felt like that I was ignoring... The wrong. I was only looking at Puff as a businessman and saying it's okay because he's a black businessman. Yeah, no. and that, that too and Puff's history with his artists... His, a lot of artists that were under Puff have come out years before and said that, you know, their publishing was fucked up. You know, they weren't get they were getting robbed. Uh, yeah, but a the, lot, but stop, because a lot of artists will say that when they just don't have fifty percent of their pub, or when they leverage their pub off, and now we see what it's worth later on. Birdman gets that rap because niggas were saying, "Yo, he took everything. Mm-hmm. We don't have any of our pub." We don't have any of the royalties that are coming in. We don't have shit. So Mm -hmm. Birdman, I understand that about. Puff didn't get killed like that the whole time. The locks killed him at Mm -hmm. some point. And Mm -hmm. then it stopped. They rectified it. Mm -hmm. And there's a relationship there. So now this is another one of his artists, just, you know, along the same narrative. Yeah, but at some point, if we don't hear from the other side... Because in these pub situations... And I don't want to get into this again (laughs) anymore. Yeah, But... (laughs) All I was saying is, from my own personal experience, having zero to do with Puff, I think there are some things to that Mace Puff publishing story that Mace didn't say. Absolutely, and but mm, but again, sure. I, I'm speaking for the people, and I think they just felt like three sides every story. You just didn't say, you know, stop robbing each other, stop doing fucked up deals with niggas because you know they don't know the business, especially when they're black and you're a black man. That's all it was. I think that was the bigger issue that people had with it was like, yo, we need to stop doing fucked up business with each other. They already do it with us, so we don't need to do it with each other because we can't fight ourselves and fight. You know what I mean? It just didn't. It, you know, it's funny. It's the same. It, it, somehow it correlates to the same thing I ended up telling Verb. Yeah, Joe is always on the side of the creator, but some of these creators are indeed businessmen and are coming up and are creating other things to help leverage something that they already have. Mm-hmm. I was telling Verb that that is the battle rapper's problem. Mm-hmm. Y'all keep rapping and rapping and rapping and wanting to get paid from rap when ain't no money in rap. <laughs> mm-hmm. You have to start doing something else so you can leverage it however you deem fit. Mm-hmm. There, that's and, it. I'm getting and, out of here. And a lot of with their deals, I want to get in their pockets, but they're getting paid a fee to not own what they yeah, are rapping on that stage. The other two points <laughs> that made me mad about the Puff shit... <laughs> Is one, even if even if you felt that Puff was doing that, even if you're correct, let's say you're correct, take the Joe Cape off. Mace is right in everything he's saying allegedly. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that was not the way to go about that at that time on the heels of such a powerful speech to a racist Grammy board that needed to hear that. And there aren't but so many artists that are going to be able to carry that message to the people that need it. That was one. 
And two, be clear, whatever we want to say about Puff's business practices as far as rap, Puff is not in the rap business. <laughs> he is. No, he ain't. Why you I mean, because Puff is in the Ciroc alcohol TV as well as well he just did he did a reunion to it like you can't say that Puff is still and will always will be in the rap business he is the rap business you can never say that because let's be clear I don't care how much I don't care how successful Puff is how much money he goes on to make one of our his focus may be in others people are always and forever going to view him as a rapper and if we're talking publishing no matter what you're in the rap business because you have that publishing (laughs) like no matter what you're in the rap business you own rap publishing you have it because of your past deals. Yeah. I guess you what still I'm saying in that business. is if the Mace stuff were to be true against someone who were who was actively pursuing new acts to continuously put them in that type of deal, then that conversation should be pre- prevalent right now. Let's uh, have it. You, you, we're talking about somebody who, to our knowledge at least, mm-hmm. well, is not searching for an act. Yes, he is. Yes, he is right now. And you could call it the TV business, but it's still a blend of both. He's trying to do Making the Band again. They're, they're actively searching for groups and people right now for Making the Band. So, and, yes, is that the TV business? And, sure. And why but is it going to end up being the music business? Yeah. And why wouldn't he? That's Puff should he, always stay in the music business. Absolutely. I've argued and y'all have killed me a million times. I think Puff has the greatest ear in music ever, and I've been killed for it. He should always be in the music business. We're arguing opinions right now. Just what he's doing. No, 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 no. We're not arguing opinions. He's doing Making the Band. <laughs> That's not an opinion. Making the Band is an MTV Viacom thing. And Whatever what's, what's happened, it going to turn into? What a music not, a music deal eventually come out of it. Yeah, a music deal will come out of it. How many albums came out? And now now I, don't do that because Danny Lee Kane is, sold over is, a million. Day twenty six had albums. Yeah, they put out making the band the actual yo, joint when had y'all, albums. When y'all argue with me, it leads our public to believe that I'm saying something I'm not. So let me say my point and then say what you're saying. Yes, an album will come out of a Viacom deal because Viacom has it in a contract. I'm sure that if you win. This is what comes out of it for you. And we'll split it up. And their deal with Puff, we are assuming, Mm -hmm. tells Puff that he has to oversee that Mm -hmm. at the end of the process. Mm -hmm. Mm. Whatever splits are in that paperwork are Viacom splits. The same way all of those music shows that are similar, that promise that in the end, those terms are created from the television side, there is not a music person there dictating that. Yes, his name is Puff that, Daddy. No, he's not. Fam, Puff he just said he was overseeing it because he is a face. He is a billboard to making. The if you band. think Puff is not touching anything music relate, that Rory, contradicts everything Rory, you said prior. I'm telling you something. I'm not asking. I'm telling you what I know, and you're debating me. MTV has been digging up everything that MTV has ever done yeah. and attaching a face to it. And all of their plans are MTV plans. That's what I'm saying. Yo MTV Raps is coming back. Real whatever that other shit is. All, all, all of it is all coming. All the back. shit they Make, were successful. Making the band don't, it's but, not, wait, let me finish. Don't bug me. It's not far from that. That's MTV saying we're bringing back Making the Band. This is how it will work. This is the paperwork. We're getting the face. You come attach yourself. Puff don't even have time to do Making the Band anymore. And that's what I keep saying. You have to see through smoke and mirrors. You have to see through when somebody in the industry is just doing some bullshit and how they're doing it. No, that's not Puff in the music business. That's where we disagree because I just I agree with everything you just said up until that's not part of the music business. Then go dig up Danny D. Kane and see what the music business is. Go uh, dig up see, the band see, and see what the music what, business see what, is. The, see what they did with numbers with the music. You're business. gonna do they it did great. all for the strength of making the band. That's why MTV has it there. Yeah, no, that's why absolutely. Love and Hip Hop has it. So there you don't now. think any distribution will come from Bad Boy Music Rory, side? Of I'm them. telling you that Viacom at some point. One of them little girls from one of them reality shows came up with a, a multi-million dollar energy drink or some shit. And the, and the uh, TV people said, that won't ever happen again. We're going to protect against that. That Cardi B shit that happened where you just going to come on TV and leave and pop off. That wasn't a music person to put a stop to it. Of course. Then what are you arguing? <laughs> Love and Hip Hop is not a music show. I know it says it Mona's in the title. a music person. She was. She is. She ain't in the music business no more. That's why Cardi B left and had nothing to do with Mona afterwards. By his argument, if Mona has that in place with Love and Hip Hop, Viacom and Mona, and they have that in place in a contract, 
by your puff argument that makes Mona a music person. No, I'm, no. What I'm she saying made, to you she is made the that, mistake of not tying herself to Cardi the way that Cardi popped. Puff not gonna make that mistake. Puff is in the music business. Whatever group comes out of this making the band shit is gonna be part of Puff in the music okay, business. You are wrong. No, it ain't. Fam. You're wrong. We can move on, but you are wrong, and I'm so putting out music fact. ain't the music business. Puff is not putting out music. Puff is putting his name on something that has That's to do with the Puff game. making the band. That That's, is the game. That's the music Roy. business. What are you talking about? Okay, it's, so, it's one that's the music right, so business. That, it's one in the same. If I attach my name to some shit and have zero to do with it, you're telling me that that's the music business. Cool. My interpretation of that is totally different. And Puff think, is not. I think that Puff, Puff is not going to have zero to do. I think with Puff it. was somewhere getting a massage in his LA home and got a call that said, "Yo, we bring him back, making the band. Do you want to rock with it? We cut you a check." I think yes. That's how I think happened. I haven't spoken to anybody, but what you saying, I don't view it to be as. I'm in the music business when you that's the TV business. That I, is the TV I start, business. I started my argument with saying you'll probably call this the TV business. Is Mona in the music eventually, business when, when is Mona eventually in the music? this album is gonna come out is, and that becomes the music business and Puff is gonna have to do with it. Is Mona in the it's music? It's gonna say Puff Daddy presents whatever the name of the fucking group they come out with with making it a band. It's gonna say Puff Daddy Prevents and whatever going, his name is, Diddy Now, whatever he wants to use. And it's going to say that because that's the would music be the business deal. That Viacom and Puff have in place. That's not. Yeah. A, that's not a music deal. So please, somebody chime in. No, it's one. Of you don't think Viacom is in the music business? Music is coming from it. It's a music show. Music will be put out. Music if you're trying to tell me Viacom is not in the music business, lie to me right now. I got it. It's one. Of the lie same. to me right now. Say definitely, Viacom is not in the music one of the business. Same for sure. I got it. Definitely. Like you are out of your mind. If you're about saying, to tell me right now, Viacom is saying the same things, but it's 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 just different ways of getting yeah, to semantics. it. Semantics. Yeah. But Yo, it's definitely it's it ain't maybe. semantics. Viacom is in the music business. No, for sure. That's not a there's not a debate here. Absolutely. There's not a semantics here. They're in the business. There's not even a music. conversation. You know why Rory <laughs> sounds like an idiot? Because if you knew just how much money television made versus what music made. That's not the debate. And, and, That's and a, it's my debate because I'm saying that as a caveat to our television show and contract and production, just as the winner, hey, you win. Put an album out, great, go do a deal with whoever, blah, blah, blah. The money is in two totally different ballparks. So, yes, by that definition, television is in the music business because they put that there. But well, um, on the broad to broaden it, no, they don't give a fuck what happens to that album. Danny Kane album sold, and guess what? It was over. Why, if we in the music business? Why? Why, why, how can they put together a group? They come out, do double platinum, and we never hear from them again if we're in the music business. That is my response to that. It's uh, not the music business. I mean, is, we've is, seen is, all is YouTube, is YouTube too, in the music business? Yes. Okay, so then I don't even want to have this conversation. Why? What did that prove? What did you just prove? I just you said didn't prove anything. Fun, you, wanted, you, had, you asked me a mad regular question and said you don't want to talk anymore. Viacom. YouTube is in the music business newly. There's YouTube music. There's a music person at the head of YouTube the same way Apple had a music person missing, at the head missing, there. Miss, missing my point. Missing my point. Stop right there. YouTube now is newly into the music business. Do you think YouTube gets most of their revenue from the new YouTube music platform? One day they might, but right now is their visual business where they get their most ad revenue from. Yes. So Viacom, even though it's not their number one revenue uh, stream, they have music is still so much part of their shit. Like you They're can't just music. say that. Bi the music business is the business of selling music. Viacom Period. biggest thing at one point was music television, so what MTV. So what it's they're in so the music business. Got it. They no longer really MTV, strive to MTV that the way they is did. Music television, but it's it is music television. New convoluting points. TV needs to be in the business in the interest of music because you have to put musicians on TV. That does not make you in the music business. <laughs> yes, it do. You are still in the business of television. Your bottom line no, is it's one in the wrong. same. You're wrong. It's one in the same. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's one in the same. It doesn't matter. How about that? It's definitely one in the same. No, it's one in the same. That was a good point. Y'all had a little. I mean, y'all was isolated. Yeah. I was ready to box out. Don't worry about it. Nuts. I, damn, I, <laughs> I think I think you're both. You, you're no. arguing semantics. Yeah, I you cannot. Are. I you cannot believe my only point yeah. right now. Go to Viacom and try to get a deal. <laughs> you you just you just told me I could get a deal. I got to go to Make It and Band and put out an album with go Viacom. To, to you just Vi told me I could go do to that. And try you to get just a told deal. me I could do that. Go to no. So you would be going to Viacom. You just to get told a TV me that. Spot. <laughs> 
You just told me that Viacom's putting this album out. So what are you talking about? So no, when you say like, TV no, but Joe no, you told like me that album no, coming out from Viacom. So you from Viacom? Fam. No, what's that word? You gaslighting? Probably own a record label is the funny part about all of it. But whatever. Right. Well, that's what I'm album. saying. You can't <laughs> tell me that they're putting an sure. album out from Viacom and then tell me I can't go get a deal at Viacom because you just told me I could if I go to making the band and join that group because they're putting out Puff's not putting out Viacom is so you're lying. Roy, you are not as stupid as you sound right now. And to win I just argument, said your point. You're try- no, you didn't. You sound like an idiot, and I never sound like that much of an idiot. If you are going to try to join making the band, you are going to try to get a part of a TV show. And if That's you win, put out an album. No, if you win. That's what I'm saying. If, if, I, if, win, I, if I make the band. If you, if you win, no, because you attempting to make the band is our television show. You don't, no, I'm you with don't that. have to make no, 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 the band. Yeah, no, no, you're so right. You're, That's so you're part missing, of the show. You're missing, the end result, Joe, I started, you're not listening to me. The end result is an album. You're just not listening to me because yeah. I said, when I started, we can go back. You're going to say it's a TV thing. Yes, it is. Eventually, that album is going to come out. Absolutely. So we're in the music business. And you said Viacom has all the splits with Puff on that. So yes, I guess I could get a they're deal according to they, you they, they with Viacom. So they in the they, music business. I'm using all your right. words, not well, mine. So you can't call me stupid. It's your words unless you want to call yourself stupid. What's, stupid. The, what's the root of this argument? I'm calling Roy stupid. That's it. That Puff is not in the music business anymore. No. Puff is 100% in the music business. He's in the he music has no business. choice. Yeah. But it's a small <laughs> portion of his. It's not his. no fucking it's choice. It's not his main focus. But and he's let me, still and let me end with that. Let me end with that, Roy. Because we may just have different views of what being in the music business is. Like, technically, I'm in the music business. You are 1,000% in the music business. Tell me why. No matter what, when it comes this to business... This is a great example. You just... Right um, this, I don't, that was a perfect example. I don't want to put your... It isn't, is it? Because I want to put your business out put there. Put my business out there. You just I told a, me... I have an open contract with Empire. That's open. My pub deals are done. My vested interest is not in music... Though I receive money from music, you just you quarterly. just told me you negotiated and sold a pump it up thing to a European shit. You're in the music business. You're in the music business. Like I don't, I don't know what you that need means. more than being in the music business. No, no, I don't. That's the music business. No, no, that's Is that your number no, no, one no, no, revenue no, you or focus? It. Not at all. No, you 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 got it. That just you in the music business. The, the difference for me. That I understand. Smith, I guess, six, what he is saying. Yeah. You in the music business. Okay. <laughs> like plain and simple, you have no choice. Because I approved the splits on Pump It Up. Yeah. Did <laughs> Did you want to negotiate it? My ver- my definition of in the music business is you have a vested interest. You're in actively creating music. Something. Music. Yeah. That's an, making actively it. creating yeah. music is not being in the I music agree with you, business. Roy. I agree. You guys again. And I, on I, top I, of that, actively creating. I said you have a vested interest in music. Yes, Viacom is putting an album out. They don't give a fuck about music. Do you think Puff does if he puts his name to this making the band no. legacy? No, I think, and we can call the band and have them say that. And I don't want to keep talking about this because I don't want to get Puff in trouble with the band. But, but oh no, I'm talking about I the think, new band. I think we can I'm call the new I band. Think we can call the band and they say, yeah, he don't give a fuck, <laughs> and he didn't give a fuck. No, Which, I'm, ta- I'm me, talking about the new band. If you don't give a fuck, and I don't know this, so don't get me in trouble. Puff cared but, about the band. All right, man, I'm not doing this. Puff, cared, Puff cared about the band. He had man. a lot of success there. Yeah, like you can't say because Day Twenty Six and Danny Kane. I know it's like a running they made, joke. They made some they great did music. mad numbers. They made some good music. They did okay, and that would be Puff. If you're about to tell me Puff at that, especially that time when music was able to download and Danny Kane was doing those numbers, if Puff didn't care, come on, now, like no, he, now who's doing semantics? Cared. Of course he did. His <laughs> name was attached to it. He's gonna. That's what I'm saying. His name is Puff to. cares. His name He's is. a person that cares, and it won. Yeah, no, for sure. big, and it, but. It won, and, and 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 he abided by whatever deal was there, which Correct. is you won, put it out. It's Puff, so it won, mm-hmm. and he Facts. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. Puff has done that a lot. So they trying to they trying that's, to bring that's that a back. long that's a longevity in Puff in, in his in to somewhat his genius, which is why you got to give him his pub. <laughs> oh, I'm not arguing that part. Listen, let's move on, man, because I've, I've caped for Puff enough. Please, yeah. please, 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 please. But and I don't even see this as caping because <laughs> this is I just right believe I just believe this stuff. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of cape. Yo, the music right. business is tricky, man. It's just a little short do rag cape. It's not like yeah. a full Superman cape. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. All right, I'll take it, man. Yeah, so I'll take it. What else is important to music? Uh, Puff. <laughs> not the business. <laughs> the splits. Puff is definitely important to music for sure. What's Viacom doing? <laughs> um. <laughs> Me y'all th- got me up here. T- t- yo, y'all gonna come up here and start sharing things. I have a deal with Viacom and Puff. Okay. So what the okay. fuck am I up here talking about Viacom and Puff about? You ain't saying anything bad. 
Take that, you fucking stupid ass fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nah, Joe got fired. He real. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the shit, though. <laughs> Ooh, the, fans, nah. the fans think when you lose Joe money, you real. Lost his right. job. Nah, he did that. <laughs> right. I see where he was coming from. Uh, yeah. Well, fuck out of here. Word. All right, what else nah, is you, important? You only real when you fail. <laughs> you never real when you succeed. It's a good point. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, the baby snippet. Heard it? Who heard it? Uh, I saw it. That was the one where he was pushing the kid, his kid around in the yes. shopping cart and all that. Mm-hmm. I didn't hear that. I did hear the Pop Smoke and Quavo snippet. That was fire. Pop Smoke going to keep making the same song with the same drums, okay. and it's going to sound fire every time. So you skipped the baby talk to say that about Pop Smoke? It was a good <laughs> snippet. You were talking about snippets. I didn't hear the, uh, the baby snippet, though. Well, t- tell us about it. it I, like I told you about record. the Pop Smoke one. I'm, telling, I'm taking your Pop Smoke analysis and applying it to the baby now. <laughs> Great. I don't see how you skipped that and said, Pop Smoke needs to change up the sound. No, same no, drum, same flow. No, I said the opposite. I said he's going to continue to make that song, and I'm going to continue to like it. Okay. And well, then he added well, Quavo, the, the and it sounded is, fire. The baby is too. Yeah. yeah. Same same deal. Y'all don't like no, it? No, I, I said the opposite no, of good. Pop Smoke. It sounded fire. Hip-hop just ain't so demanding anymore. This no, has always of course been not. happening. And yeah, yeah let's, let's keep it a buck, too. This has always the been The beautiful happening. part is he has a shopping cart in the crib. I don't know if y'all... <laughs> I don't know if y'all just dr- skip past that, but... Uh, Especially now, because they, they have the thing on them where once you get past the... The doors opening, like the, the, the shopping cart shut down. You know his. You know how he give it up in the supermarkets. <laughs> Word. Yeah. You think, anybody, a, anybody you think a cart is gonna stop yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody saying nothing to him on the walkout. They like, nah, fam. We uh, go ahead. Mm. Nobody saying nothing. Nah, you a preferred baby. customer here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good. Let us know when you finish. <laughs> all right. Well, before we get out of music, uh, I did want to say rest in peace uh, to Jay Scott of ASAP Mob. Um, Probably best known as as the ASAP Mobs DJ, um, but but so much more than that. Great producer. Um, I know managed a lot of them uh, within the ASAP camp, um, and and also uh, the lifestyle dude, which I I think kind of gets not the best credit it should get of of you really just out here living and people are grabbing their raps and their fashion. And everything that we love about your crew from you. But just because you don't rap, you don't get the credit for it. Yeah. Um, so, so I think J. Scott's legacy is, is much more than maybe the average fan may not know. Um, but, but rest in peace to him, prayers to his family, um, prayers to New York City. Uh, he was loved by everyone that even was around in the past 10 years. Um, so, yeah. Mara just goes out to ASAP as a crew. Yeah, man. For having to endure losses this way. Yeah. It's it, it's tough. Um I I know he had some health complications before. Um so it, you know, I, I don't think it was the the super shock that maybe some of the, their past um tragedies ha- have been. Um but still you know, it's it's rough at someone at that age to uh to have to pass but yeah pr- prayer still asap crew yeah, yeah um um for sure and the family yeah friends, family. family friends fans yeah and uh close friends of mine that that, that were closer with him said just a, a cool fly dude like mm. when, that everything we love about asap mob and like what they represent kind of they you know they got their shit from him wow. <laughs> like like he was that dude wow so uh so rest in peace for sure, man. Yeah, rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, rest in peace for sure. Um, what else is left? Monique versus <laughs> Monique, Oprah yeah, is Monique left. Versus Oprah. Morant versus Steph is left. I'll leave that for Maul. I love Ja Morant, but he gotta he gotta chill no, out. No, you gotta bit. chill out, nigga. Yeah. It's <laughs> one thing about it when you down and out, niggas come at you, boy. <laughs> Niggas come at you when you down and out. T- tell Maul, me what's going Maul, on with this. Maul, Let's be, go there Maul, first. Be clear. John Morant will cook Steph's muffin. See, it, it, it <laughs> lasts for me. Well, I love John Morant. Y'all know that. I'm he's crazy. Nice. He's but <clears throat> you got to just man, slow we, down, young. No, I don't. We watched Van Cleet give Steph Curry the business. Oh, man. <laughs> we seen that with we our own eyes. It. We did see it. They took, they took Curry but, off of Van Cleet. But, st- but Steph is a, What uh, do y'all think is going to happen if Steph Curry you tries to guard John Cleet, Morant? 
this nigga. You know fucking Fred Van Cleet, nigga. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, yes. Now, Fred, he he hooped out in the finals. But I love John. And of course, we is... know John ja Morant will get cooked by Steph Curry. Oh, I mean. That's not even a I question. They just might cook each other. Pause one, I don't know, Want to be a little more well done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> want to come out the kitchen faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, that's for sure. So they're fighting over Andre Iguodala not wanting to be a part of the Memphis Grizzlies and saying that and if the Memphis Grizzlies orchestrate where he's traded to, if it's not one of the teams that he listed, then he will indeed sit out. <laughs> and the young players on Memphis have a problem with that. Uh, Dylon Brooks is the one that spoke up. Yeah, Dylan Brooks, whatever his name. I don't know how to pronounce it, but he spoke up and said, "Yo, I, I can't wait for us to trade him, uh, so we can play, <laughs> so we can play him and show him what Memphis is about." And then John ja Morant retweeted that, and then Steph Curry uh, insta snapped a picture of Iggy with a championship trophy, saying, "Well, with a quiet emoji, like just let him talk." Mm-hmm. And then Morant insta snapped a picture of Kevin Durant holding the trophy. Saying, yeah, just let me talk. <laughs> With emojis, of course. That's how they're communicating. That is how the kids communicate. Uh, <laughs> well, not just saying Steph Curry's a kid. But he's already With all of that said. And if, Steph if, Curry is not a kid either. If we're putting jokes to the side, then there's some things that I, I anticipate uh, Ja Morant and Dylan Brooks just don't understand about a 17-year NBA veteran yeah. who has rings, who's accomplished, Who's done everything that teams have asked him to do, and now you're 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 playing for your time now. You're playing for a championship. Wasn't he a Finals MVP? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fam, if I'm a rookie, I'm shutting the fuck up about anything Steph Curry says. But no, that's that like, was my shut whole. Up. I do like <laughs> conversation with Joe. I like, like the dog can't. and Morant. I like. I the love dog it too. But nah, sometimes, man. sometimes you know he a dog. You know he a yeah, dog. But sometimes, sometimes the dog run into something else, and it ain't a dog. It's a puppy now. No, uh, no, I, I like him wanting to be aggressive, but dude, come on, man. Like, it's Steph Curry. Relax. Well, John Morant went on to say, I'm a fan of Steph. I've, Absolutely. I've, all, I've been a fan of Steph. Absolutely. Oh, so he started but with disrespect. If you play but, basketball, but, but, you're a fan of Steph but Curry. But I ain't scared of Me enough with the chance album. No, he Got shouldn't it. be scared, but you should That's also... It. Don't say because Steph is his OG. No, 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 no. no, no. It's not be, It's not yeah. an OG thing. You, you should just be quiet on certain things. He didn't have to post that picture, Katie. I'm, I'm with more certain things. Just be quiet. Just, just relax. Just relax, because this can go really bad. No, it can't. No, Steph, this can get really bad. Man, Steph ain't on the court. You on the side? But he'll be back on the court. And you're fucking. What's the name of his sneaker? Under Armour. <laughs> no, what's the name of his shoes though? The the dad shoe uh, the, seven. The, SC30s on the, the deadly Jays. <laughs> That's not the name. Of his. <laughs> It's not the name of his sneakers. Oh, y'all are stupid. All right, what else is going on? Oprah versus uh, Monique. Oprah versus Monique. Monique writes to Oprah. Do we have this much time? Dear Oprah, not really. I don't care about this. (laughs) I mean, I care about it because everything that Monique is saying to Oprah needs to be said. But I don't like when the right thing to do or say is rooted in salt. Mm. And for me... Monique is salty about fucking how Oprah treated her during the precious, precious uh, premiere and when she wanted her promo all across the country for free or whatever the fuck she kept saying. Uh, so this gets convoluted there, but she, she goes on to say, Dear Oprah, I felt compelled to write you this open letter after observing the disparity in the way that you seem to treat people who were accused of the same allegations. You did an interview on the CBS Morning Show and were asked about Harvey Weinstein by Nora O'Donnell. And you and you said, as it pertained to him, that you always try to look at the rainbow in the clouds, whatever is the silver lining. You also said, if we make this all about Harvey Weinstein, then we have lost the moment. When you either are or were going to be a part of the documentary on Michael Jackson and Russell Simmons, how is that not making it all about them? Monique asks. Interestingly, Brother MJ was acquitted and deceased. So how is he not off limits? She asks. Russell and Harvey are accused of the same thing. So in fairness, how do you not support the accusers of both as you said you did with RS or you look for the silver lining for both like you said you did with H with HW? The only difference between the two is their skin color. And doesn't Harvey Weinstein have way more accusers? Question mark. My personal experience with you. And here we go. She should just left out the personal shit. It's cool. I know the point that she's uh, attempting to speak to. My personal experience with you is you've watched me as a black woman be accused of being difficult for not promoting Precious internationally for Lionsgate at Lionsgate. 
Tyler Perry at Lionsgate, Tyler Perry and your request, despite the fact that my deal was with Lee Daniels Entertainment. And how are you for black women when you hear Tyler on audio saying I was right and he was going to speak up, but you or him still have not said a word? When I was 16 and I met you at your local show in Baltimore, I told you I wanted to be just like you when I grew up. You responded, you have to work really, really hard. My 16-year-old self didn't know that you and your silence in the face of wrongdoing would make my life, quote, harder, unquote. Lastly, please consider standing by the people who are and uh, who are right and not just the right people. Love you to life. All right. <sighs> needed to be said. <clears throat> not certain if some of that needed to be said. Don't personalize the, the broad beef here. Well, it's personally for me. I like it. It's my it, personal I opinion. It was, I think it was respectful. I think it was uh, to the point. I think it was... Um, Necessary, and I feel like this is something that she's been holding, holding on to for a while, and just felt like she just wanted to say it. And but again, it wasn't disrespectful. I don't think there was any disrespectful intent. I don't think there was any disrespectful language. Um. So yeah, I I like it. Do y'all think Oprah responds to this? No, of course not. Come on, man. I'm just asking. No, <laughs> no. You work not yourself. You work yourself into a space where you pick and choose what you respond to. And Monique takes things personal, which is fine. Oh, this is personal to her. Yeah, which is totally fine. If you want to respond personally, that's fine. I thought her Netflix personal thing was fine. I, maybe I disagreed with some of it, but yeah, you take things personal, respond personally. Do y'all think that you should be paid to promote a film that you're in internationally? It depends. Uh, yeah, that's well, gonna yeah. that's gonna depend on my contract a lot. Well, and I can't just say on, yes or no to that. I can't. It depends on your scheduling. You might yeah. you might be scheduled to be on set for something else, but then they want you to promote. Then it's like, okay, well, I was gonna get paid for another picking up another film, right? But y'all want me to promote this? Uh, I'm not sure what standard practice, honestly, in in film. Yeah, in Whatever. music, you would not. Well, I've, I've heard plenty of times credit. they don't pay you to act; they pay you to promote. In in most contracts, it says. Uh, you have to go promote the shit that you're in. Internationally, <laughs> though, is different. And that probably wasn't there, which is why yeah. they're they're clinging on to that word in this beef. But right. I don't know. Um, either way, this did need to be said to Oprah. I do not think that Oprah will respond. No. And that's that. That's not at all. That. All right, man. Good party, everybody. Enjoy their week, man. Stay safe out there. I want to thank our higher power for getting us here to y'all. I want to thank yes. our higher power for getting my co-workers here. And I want to thank my higher power for getting y'all here, most importantly. Yes. yes. With that said, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Mm -hmm. Until next time, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista. I bid you adieu. Talk to you later. W-I-D. Lachaim. <laughs> yeah. yeah, whatever you say to fucking say goodbye to somebody. Um... Don't forget to tune in next week <laughs> for part three well, of our publishing this week. conversation. Hey. <laughs> we're gonna get to the bottom. We're of gonna go through. Debacle. We're gonna go through every puff deal yeah. ever. <laughs> Yo, I wanted to come in here and don't get and him started. Why'd you get him started? I wanted to come in here and call a publisher to kind of help talk through some of this stuff. Cole Puff. I don't uh, think we call him Puff. Why? That would be interesting. Joe Pussy. You no, know Puff gonna tell us, Joe, listen, God is the greatest. <laughs> you no, know Puff go, you know how Puff gonna give it up. To Mesa. I, I think Mace might have blew that. No, no, I mean Mace, know, Mace just a conversation he, about it. Puff Mace blew his, his God and, back. And, and don't do that, Rory, because I've called Puff on this podcast before. He didn't answer. <laughs> but don't but don't do that. He, he, he'll answer now. He's going to know what the conversation's well, about. Call. Let's see why he's sat. All right, cool. We'll do that. Yeah, got you. Let's call him on three ways. Parks, call Ed Davis. <laughs> Rory, call. Who can Rory call? Leno. <laughs> Leno. Oh, Leno. <laughs> Everybody. What's up with Letterman? I don't know. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I got, already got a little Yo, tension. Why Letterman yeah. did that to Arsenio, man? Yeah, it's a little tension, yeah, a little tension yeah, between on, Leno Rory. and Arsenio. Come on, Rory, man. Yeah. Get I, got, I, got, I got boys to men on this pod. Last, the, the last call was mine, so I don't know what y'all talking about. Nah, that's, you, you're right. 
And a little sidebar usher in the background. So ain't even, yeah, see? Nah, I see what you did. Yeah, but you gentrified Maul's relationship. <laughs> I gentrified like, Maul's like relationship. Maul became close with Sean Stockman. <laughs> and, then, and then you jumped on, yo, let me get your math. That's what I, 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 I've I, never I, been with Sean and Maul Rory, together. Yo, like, yeah, no. A lot yeah. of men tell me that Rory's not to let me get your math, dude. You're asking me? Yeah. No, no, he, just ha- he just yeah. hands the phone. Rory's like industry. The, the text the industry like text in there. Yeah, <laughs> he just takes the phone. No, nah, he hands him his no, phone with like the blank text. Like, yo, yo, shoot me, I'm, you, shoot me, you, I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, shoot me, you. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Uh, this is coming you from this is coming from, from the, me, you. the person that's had the most phone calls on this podcast to to celebrities. Yeah, I'm the one that does that now. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to make this shit compelling. <laughs> <laughs> and spur the moment. Join in. Join I, me. No, I don't because I don't. Join do, me because I don't do that. You didn't call the Kappas with Boosie. You don't call nobody. You well, called Sean. I'm, I'm a Kappa. I don't need to call a he Kappa. I'm a Kappa. Nah, he didn't give us the real Kappa sauce. Yes, I did. He didn't teach us to dance. He didn't nah, dance he, for he, us. He, nah, he took that shit. He didn't tell us uh, shit deeper. Like I was scared of the Kappas for me. Yeah, we're yeah. still am. Yeah. Uh, and before we get out of here, uh, Jay Z just announced somewhere that he was not sitting down in protest. He was sitting down because he got in artist mode and he got focused on the show details like how many speakers are there, how many mics are there, why is she doing that? I'm just telling you what he said himself. Where did, where did you see this? Um, it's probably from that same. What was up. it? That's from The Onion. Uh, hold up, hold up. <laughs> he, gave a, he gave a speech. Yeah, he gave a speech. Here, oh, yeah. He explains why he and his family remain seated at the Super Bowl, blah, 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 blah. Nah, I don't believe you. And he gave that at. Uh, maybe, uh, at the NFL. <laughs> Via at NFL Parks I'm getting out of here man I'm, I'm not doing this I can't be a whole Avenger And a Puff Avenger In the same in the same episode Puff Avenger It gotta be one or the other man One of these days These guys will come in here And admit that the baby Is making the same song On the same beat Should be working though Did they see what yeah, the, Did fine. they see what the president Was doing during the national anthem They don't want to talk about that What do y'all think Was about? Trump there No they just showed a video Of what he was doing though they was watching it. What do you think about Trump? Picking and, his ass. Trump and Bloomberg uh, bigging up Kansas oh, for the Super Bowl win. <laughs> <laughs> they said the great, the great state of Kansas. Kansas. And those Bloomberg ads were nasty during the Super Bowl. Yeah, nasty. Well, no, the Trump ones were filthy too. <laughs> yeah, man, that was crazy. <laughs> you see, man, Rogan caught some heat just for saying who he's gonna vote for. What do you say he was gonna vote for? Bernie. No, he, I don't Bernie. even think he said that. I think they said he, he said that. <laughs> no, he said it. Okay, he said, <laughs> "I think I'm voting for Bernie," and then he caught like mad backlash from it. From yeah. and then he came out and said, "I'm shutting up. I'm out of my business. This podcast is too big. It can actually affect the election." That's and that's the out. part I saw. I didn't mm-hmm. think he was saying I was straight up saying, "Yo." No, he said that. He said, <laughs> okay, I think I'm no. I, I, I guess I saw the the post shit where he was like, "I'm not. I refuse to do this political thing anymore. I try to help you all out by giving you an honest platform." I don't understand why people get so angry about politics when it's all based upon money, right? I would. Yeah, I was gonna say it's. It's the like money it's okay game. To also it's all dis- the money game. It's okay to disagree, but like... No, it's not. <laughs> it's it's not. all the money game. It's like you're a- allowed to vote for who you vote for, and you're allowed to vote for who you vote for. You're going to have to attack each other because of who you want to vote for. No, so, yeah, yes, but, but, yes, but, but Rogan got that platform now where that to, to them he would manipulate voters to vote for... Because to them, anyone that listens to Joe Rogan, you're automatically going to vote for who Joe Rogan says you're going to vote for. Listen, I'm still not off of Joe Rogan not knowing what a 16 is. <laughs> like, I came in here and brought that, and y'all didn't pay it any mind, but that was like big news to me. Why? How could Joe Rogan not know what a 16 is? Because I don't think Joe Rogan don't listens really to rap like, the like 16 that. guy. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> We'll be back on Saturday, and hopefully all of us here know what a 16 is. We do. Can y'all count bars? Comes uh, right after 15. All right, Rory. Right before 17. Can y'all count bars? Just go through the tunnel. (laughs) (laughs) Just run in the tunnel, man. You've been ejected.